Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Collider Live. What the hell is today? It is Tuesday, July something. July 9th. 9th. To the, uh, uh, <laughs> welcome back. Welcome one. Welcome all to the show. Uh, joining us, as always, is the the one, the only, Roxy Stryer. Hello, Roxy. Hi, Christian. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? You good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> she was like... I'm going to answer yeah. that. Well, like this Great. morning, I was coming out of the bathroom. She's walking. I was like, hey, how's it going? She's like, hi, Josh. And I was like thinking to myself, she doesn't call me by my first name like ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's true. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Um, and he's got a bad back, but he's here. Mark Ryan. Yeah. Hi. How are you? How's your back? Fucked. What happened? Too much wine? No. Oh. I, I, it's, it, I, I heard it working out last oh. week. And then when I did the wine tasting, it kept getting worse. Yeah. And then Saturday night, that was it. I was out. You, I couldn't. I couldn't move. Jesus. You wine taste more than anybody I've ever uh-huh. met. Yeah. yeah. You I, I, you wedding like, more than anybody, yeah. and uh-huh. you wine taste. He's like that little anybody. girl in the ice cream shop in Stranger Things. Yes. Yeah. 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 Erica, she's the best. They, yeah. call, they call, call us uh, wine ahoy. Oh. Well, oh. Yeah. The, the, the wine crew. Oh, ahoy like like like, 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 like scoops ahoy. ahoy. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wine ahoy. Did you see Wendy and I think Dorian and somebody else? Yeah, I did see that. Went to this. Where is that? Uh, It must have been close because I I was with them. I left. I got to my next place ten minutes later, and they were already there. So they they opened. It was Baskin Robbins that they turned. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I want to go see that Star Court up on Sunset. I don't know if it's still there. I want to see the peanut butter and chocolate in Baskin Robbins because it's the best. Yeah, Mm, it's really good. Peanut butter and chocolate. Mm-hmm. I was Roxy. I w- no, Homer Simpson. Simpsons. Oh. Seen it? Uh, <laughs> seen it? <laughs> Riley coming in aggressive. Uh, that's what I have no. I have no filter. No it's cool. all through the back. Yeah. <laughs> he's he's on drugs. It's okay. Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> drugs are good. Um, uh, I was on. We just lost our show on Netflix. <laughs> I had a. I had. I was reading a Men's Health, which for some reason they started sending them to me at my apartment. So right. I'm like, I don't know, I'll, I'll read it. Whatever. Did Give your you. wife? Sign you guys up. Right. For no. Hey, fatty, take you're this. Just for free, yeah, getting, exactly. You're yeah. getting subscriptions. Apparently, don't tell. I, hello, Men's Health. Please keep sending. It's fine. But they rank their like top ten favorite ice creams, right? So, and they are like the ones that you can buy at the store. So I went and bought like four of them. Okay. <laughs> like, this is this Men's Health is really doing it for me. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's a total flip. Right. That's so great. And I got to be honest, I have not been impressed by any of their recommendations. No. Oh. Yeah. Tillamook cookies and cream, not enough cookies. All the cream. Yeah. The vanilla Talenti, meh. I like Tillamook cheese. It's really good cheese. Mm, like a good yeah. cheddar cheese. It's really good. Sorry, Rock. I don't right. understand how you're not questioning why all of a sudden you have a magazine subscription. <laughs> it just started showing up. Uh, no somebody, idea. Somebody's obviously like putting spyware in that. No, you filled is, something out. Is it? You filled something out. Are they? Not realizing it. But you have to pay for that. <laughs> Not, not, not they, sometimes they send you a couple free things. I think she's right. You got fucked up. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, mean, like, I think she's right. You got fucked up. Uh, for okay. sure that's what I'm thinking. I think yeah. so. Yeah. It, got, just, it was at one of these weddings. It was like a, a sign up thing. Yeah. You thought that you were doing karaoke. Gave yeah, my yeah. address. Yeah. And that was that. Yeah. And your credit card. <laughs> Check that statement. Yeah, someone spywared your ass. For sure. <laughs> okay. You're right. You guys got me. You got well, me. Well, if I you wanted to, if I wanted to spy on somebody, I would do that. A magazine? It's a printed piece of document. It can't spy where. What me. happened to the days of just ordering pizzas to people's houses? Remember that? <laughs> that was the best. I, I love that. that. It was good. so fun. Was we used to send supreme pizzas to this girl I had a crush on all the time, oh. <laughs> and she used to talk about it in school. We'd be like, we keep getting these pizzas, and me and my buddy calling, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was the thing. It I was. Remember that back Clever. then. Yeah. Well, because thing. maybe you should try talking to her. Nah. That was the fourth grade. Okay. Yeah. You got to the, you you the pizza guy to talk to her. I know. That's yeah. what you What'd she say? Do you like me? Right. Do you treat te- your? Do you treat your teacher? You do you teach your daughter that if boys are mean to her, they like her? No, not yet. I, I, I tell Is that something I, you're going to say, say at some point? And I told her to say, "Look, we're taking karate for a reason. So next time this kid says anything cute, you kick him in the jaw." Mm. Yeah. yeah, she likes that. You really said that? No, <laughs> but, I, but it's what I'm like, thinking. Yeah. It's what I'm thinking. From yeah. one birthing doula to a parent to another, did you oh, get the salad. Jesus. <laughs> they don't want the salad. Well, they fucked up. Then, then they let don't. Them, they don't want the salad. I said I was bringing the, the salad. Yeah, I sent them the article. I think of them sitting. They think pain. it's funny, but she doesn't want the salad. It didn't sound good. She thought she'd get sick. Let them sit in pain. They're inducing on Thursday. I had to look up what that meant. Could have just done it with a salad. Mm. As, a, as, as a doula. You didn't know what inducing yeah. was. No. Well, I did now. Not a great doula. No. Not I, I did know is. today. 
because you yeah. did your research. Because I did my research. Right, but you Found didn't know that going into being a. Adult, yeah, right? they kept saying it to me, and I was like, I've got to figure out what this is. Is right. there like a dueling for dummies kind of a thing? <laughs> a dueling like, for dummies. I, I could use one of those. Yeah. yeah. But, but that wasn't the point. The At this point, point you was, could write the book. From one birthing doula to a parent, right. I wouldn't tell your daughter that. To well, kick but, kids in the that, face? That is two different things. No, so, it's so, the same. It is the same? It's the same. Okay. <laughs> Birthing doula and parenting is pretty much the same thing. You think so? Yeah. Okay. I think I've done it now. Done one, done all. Well, I can tell you this for sure. Even though you are a certified doula, you're coming nowhere near my kids. Mm -hmm. Nowhere near them. Can I, yeah, whatever. Your daughter likes me. In a very yeah. similar conversation, yes. my buddy is probably going to have his baby on Wednesday, maybe next Wednesday, just depending on certain things, whatever. What? His baby's due, but like the baby, there's a certain thing going on in the stomach, and they'd rather get the baby mm -hmm. out yeah, yeah, than yeah. keep it in. So, uh, and I it was has like, to be on a Wednesday? No, like the, the doctor's like, it's either this Wednesday or next Wednesday. Like that's I don't know. That's what they told Weak. us last night. I'm no doula. You should. You should. <laughs> you have doctor. to question this. Yeah. You have to doula question. Yes, you're right. Yeah. So I said, hey, listen, my friend's going to be a doula. Do you guys need a doula? <laughs> Did and, you really? And Kayla goes, that's not how it works. I was like, you're correct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you're correct. You knew yeah. it. Did you actually yeah. tell the story? Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I keep trying to send them the videos, but I can't because people keep putting it in the group, and then you can't. Share I can't share that. No. What is there like a doula YouTube channel that you're trying to no, get? No, 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 no. She's no, talking no, about. The I'm, videos because they're in so much pain, they're sitting there. I'm like, this will make them laugh, and then right. I keep trying to clip them out and send it to them, but I can't. You know, we get them out of pain eating the fucking salad. That's what I said. Totally. I Eat sent both salad. of them separately the salad article. Oh, that's their fault then. Yeah, that's you what did, I said. you did your duty as a doula, I did and they my told you to fuck duty. yourself. Yeah. What does the salad do for like a guy? Is it just nutrition? No, the yeah. guy doesn't eat the salad. But I'm no, saying but if, if one did. Yeah, if like I went into this this cafe. Yeah, Cody hit a run in there. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's pretty much what happened. Well, yeah. she asked me if there was placenta in it. And There's then no uh, it was not. not. I, I read the, the whole salad. article. No. Ken's ranch, placenta, Ken's placenta dressing. Ken yeah. had a tweet that yeah. or Instagram Napsaw? killed me. That day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was, was talking about Ken the salad man. Like Ken's oh. dress, but yeah. go ahead. But I'm talking about Ken. Yeah, yeah. Our Ken, uh, he he posted some of Stranger Things, and he's saying how Grace said that he <laughs> that he looked like uh, what's his David Harbour, David Harbour, 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 Harbour. Yeah. Yeah. and he goes, I get it, I, I shouldn't be eating. She's like, No, 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 just because he's grumpy. And, yeah. he, and he goes, Fact, Fact. Yeah. <laughs> whatever he yeah. said. But it's just like, around, you know, you know the basis of it. But yeah. it was really funny. Yeah. Show. Really I'm, I'm about four episodes in. Okay. Digging it. Yeah. Digging it. I, yeah. I actually like season three. I mean, I, I don't know how it closes out, but I, I like season three better than season two. Same. Um, because it feels more like season one. Yes. Yeah. It's better than season one. I you love better than season yeah, one. Wow. It was my favorite I season. Think it's, I, I think like season one more, but oh, this was really on so par good. with it. Yeah. Uh, I got a tweet this morning, and it was just some guy going like, hey, man, I I'm a fan of you, but you really need to like pay more attention to the show because your review was just off. And I was like... <laughs> Have you, have you been following me for years? <laughs> yeah. It's like you literally binged it in 24 hours. No, like, yeah, not even. Alone. And then Amanda this morning was like, so what is this and what is this? I'm like, I don't remember. I like literally yeah. crammed for a test and now I forget all of it. I have a hard time remembering what is a what is a demi dog My, yeah. versus what is just like a, a limb of a... Demi Gorgon? De no, demi Gorgon. No, 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 not, a, not a demi Gorgon. Don't go past uh, episode four. I'm not, yeah. I'm not doing right. any. I'm just saying the monster, the name of the monster, anything smaller than a demi dog. Yeah. What we refer to that. I as. don't know. A little demi finger. A little, little, yeah. de little, uh, little demi more. De ah, no, give me demi, no. demi less. Yeah. Uh, hey, I can't. Playing I, along yeah. with the bit, it's Roxy. Playing <laughs> along with the bit, it's Roxy. See, no, you could. It could have been way better. You could have gone. Playing along with the bit, it's Roxy. Playing along with the bit. That's like the Oh, and then not it's Roxy again. Yeah, correct. Like, I was gonna stop, but he was still playing the drums. Mm. But I like the drums. Yeah, I like the drums too. Yeah, so but the, the drums can play yeah. Yeah, 100%. Um, yeah. But there was something else. Oh, the Stranger Things. Dacre Montgomery, who plays Billy, mm -hmm. I cannot look at that guy anymore and not think of Mike Citizen. Like oh, Tom, yeah. Tom's, Tom's partner is a it, citizen. Dude, that's who he is in this ep in this season. Every single oh do every single time I look at him now. <laughs> No, but I mean not. He, he, That's he, who he is. It's just a. He looks like. He, I mean, he looks like him, and, and especially. It's, it's, certain it's the mullet. It's the mullet. I yeah, want him yeah. to. I told. I texted there's Mike. There's certain things. Mm -hmm. Well, not when he's the actual not, thing. Not again. I don't want to spoil it for people. Yeah, but, but what? I know, I, what the life, actual? You're about the lifeguard fuck? stuff. Yes. Tell yes. Me about, he's Absolutely about the lifeguard stuff. stuff. But if, if you go, if you go with the uh, his at the beginning. I know what you're talking about. He's talking about the way that the guys cut up. Yeah. Exactly. Citizen? Yes, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Mike, was, Mike was. Again, he was. He, he when he fought in in college for me. He was the he was like the the cut dude that everyone was like 
Look at that but he was he was uh, humble about it. Well, can I ask you guys a question about him that I've been thinking for a long Mine? time before you finish your story? Yeah. Why is his hair always so wet looking? So that's his that's his style. Is that is that it's like a, a jerry curl. It's a white jerry curl. I don't curl. think so. I don't know. But that's that, again, that's why I, when I see Billy, yes. he's, he, Mike's gone through so many different things with his hair. He's gone super short. He goes. He, he's he's had like long, crazy hair. But it's always wet. It's like Jean Claude Van Damme in Hard Target a little bit. I'm sure that he'll text me in a second and tell me why it's wet. Because um, <laughs> he listens to the show. Yeah, so, t- why is your hair wet? All right, I'll ask him. But I, I just asked him. But I sent him. I sent him uh, a text, and I'm like, dude, like you are doing the world a disservice at the next Halloween party. You do not dress up as Billy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you have to. And he's like, this motherfucker's stealing all my acting jobs. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm sh- I think he literally just texted me. Did he just text me? I need it to be. No, he didn't. Uh, Who was it? I mean, maybe. Uh, somebody else. Read it out loud. Uh, no, somebody else. Uh, um, it's a private You're not conversation. supposed to check your phone during the show. Well, it is when you just said, you just Whatever. told somebody to have wet hair and why they had wet hair. I am curious uh, about yeah. it. But he, it's it's crazy how like I was going through. I took I took a screenshot and I sent it to Tom and I was because I've known Mike for so long. Well, but this is like, like look at that, it fucking looks just like him. It's crazy. Yeah, it does yeah. It's crazy. Totally. Yeah, so he's gonna wear the jean jacket and all that uh, shit yeah. for Halloween. Yeah. Well, at least come in here as Billy. Oh yeah, that'd be good for sure. Yeah. What I mean, day th- of the week is that? What day is the week? Of, is what? Halloween. I don't know. I think this year, this year uh, for Halloween is Thursday. Ah. Nah. No, it's not Thursday. Bah. I'm just not here on Thursday. Oh, you want him to come in on Thursday and do it? Oh. I want him to come in on Wednesday. When she's here. Oh, all right. That works yeah. for me. I mean, it's appropriate that it's Thursday because Darina is the prince of dark, princess yeah. of darkness. Yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, same. Yeah. Same. You are not. Mm. You don't know that. I do. Yeah, we do. Mm-hmm. You are. <laughs> is it a leap year next year? For the po- topic of this conversation, I want it to be over. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it sure is. It is. Absolutely. Oh, wow! 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 That's literally my dad in the car. Yeah. For the for the th- Topic of this conversation? Yes, yeah. that's what it is. Now shut on. up. Yes. Moving yes. on. Let's I'm going to use that as fact. Let's leap right over that conversation. <laughs> if I get my Jeopardy question wrong because of you, my fault. Yep. Yeah, you true. owe me oh. all the money. You know what I don't owe you, though? What? Um, I don't know. What I can tell you is that, <laughs> what I can tell you is that we're going to be on the same page because it's a fucking sweat box in here again. Yeah, uh, it is. <laughs> it, it's, and, 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 I don't And I know. say that because I can feel Cody go, <sighs> and like uh, you know what I can't wait for what? I know we haven't announced who our guest is but he he uh, the yeah, guest it's is in the title, oh isn't you it? did say it, it should yeah, be in the Jason. title it it is in you the said title. it yet oh I didn't say it uh, he gets a little antsy and his, he gets a little oh. antsy in the heat so uh, that will be a nice yeah. Alex just thing for five. all of us well Jason Muse is our guest and that's really exciting because yeah. uh, uh, being Mallrats is one of my favorite comedies of all time me too really? oh, lo- Ma- yeah, Mallrats you like that better than Clerks or Dogma or James and Bob yes Chase and Amy Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dogma girl. Uh, I'm I like Jason Amy. You know what's funny? Yeah. I hated dogma when I saw it in the theater the really? first time. And then when I revisited it, I appreciated it for what it was. But oh, I was it's ex- so good. It was, I just hated the shit monster and all that yeah. stuff, too. But then once once you go back I and watch that. it, you, you appreciate You know, it was still when you really were learning Kevin Smith's overall just like what, what he what was. was yeah. yeah. And then you, now after going back and knowing who he is, my it's favorite, a much movie. like rewatchability, 100% more. Right. Like, I Tell him, Steve Dave. Yeah. <laughs> the best. Did you get to the episode of Stranger Things yet? Called the mall rat. Yes, mm-hmm. I did. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Good talk. <laughs> Brought that just, conversation it, to a dead wow. halt. Yeah. <laughs> I think because they mall rats. Just a, yeah. I was making mall rats reference. Yes. Mall rats. Mm. Mall rats. Let me sit in it. <laughs> Just sitting in it. Scroll, 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 scroll. That was funny. That was funny. Oh, you listening to the show? I did. I watched it at home. Much better than what like Ellis and those guys do. Yeah, they're not on the show. Couldn't even know this show exists. I was was watching standing up because I needed to, you know, get it going and uh, and making sure it was everything was good. And then I went to sleep. Ellis was here yesterday. He was on Movie Talk, and uh, he started talking because we're going to do some stuff. Some extras tomorrow, I think, for this DVD, mm-hmm. like interview some people, whatever. For uh, for his stand up special. Oh, cool. And so um, he was like, How's Collider Live? We made some joke about Collider Live. I was like, I tried to listen to the day, but then I tuned in and they were talking wrestling. And I was like, Nope. And he, and he tuned away. So, yeah. you know, that's yeah. Alice. He tried. I mean, I mean, he's not listening right now. So, if we ever do but a happy live birthday, show, Mark you Ellis. think he'll come? Is it today or no, yesterday? It was yesterday. Sunday. 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 Yeah. 
Sunday, Sunday, I, Sunday. I didn't text him. Yeah. I should have. I usually post something for his birthday. Mm. I like him so much. Yeah. Mm. But you forgot. Yeah. Terrible friend. My birthday's Terrible. on Saturday. Got your invite this last Saturday? night. Yeah. Your Facebook yeah. invite. I invited all three of you. Yes. And and huh? the two in the booth. I got the Facebook invite. I invited anybody who's ever said hello to me in this office. <laughs> we'll see about this. So Roka was not invited. <laughs> he was. Oh. He was. Yeah. Mm. So were there were people who never said hello? <laughs> there were a couple. And that you didn't invite. Because <laughs> you never said hello. Well, why would you want me? To, why do I want your part? My part? Um, although I don't, I think oh, I might I have did. a location change. But yes, oh. it's Saturday. Okay. You're gonna come? I'm gonna try. You have kids. I, I, yeah, that's, I put you maybe. have an excuse. Yeah. Josh hasn't showed up to my birthday in Ever. years, mm-hmm. and Riley always comes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, put, I we'll did put maybe because when I saw it was yours, when I saw it was yours, I said. This one I'm definitely putting maybe because a lot of the ones I just don't sometimes don't respond because the day people know I'm not going to show up. But this one, what I will tell you is the chances of me showing up are, are slim to none. But what I'm yeah. But, but if if but I move I locations, go. if I move locations, it's Closer? literally next to where you are. Then that's possible. So possible. Yeah. Then that's possible. Yeah. Because like like I did when I saw the picture, I said it's Roxy. I got to at least consider it. I like that you put maybe because I like having that clout. Like Christian yeah. might be coming. I might be going, <laughs> and I and and I want to go. You know who also put out uh, maybe though? Oh, I just gave it away. Who? Alex, what else yeah. is Alex doing? That he night? works. He I works at that work. cinema, cinema food con. Yeah, well, I was a little upset about Alex that. Putting Alex on blast. Yeah, Jeez, yeah. he was the first He's response. Three kids. It was just maybe, and yeah. I was like, oh, this is going well so and far. And Alex told me about his birthday party yesterday, and I realized oh, I can't yeah. make Alex's birthday. Party. Oh no! When's your birthday oh, no. party? July 26th. Well, I wasn't invited when, to that. Yeah, he was invited to mine. Today. Oh, mm. but everybody else got one. Are you going to send physical invites or internet invites? Internet invites. Mm. I'm still making the the event photo. Are you going to sing at your birthday party? Physical um, invites no. for a birthday? No, you're not. Mm. You're gonna wow. s- for you, Christian, though, I will. You're going to sing for me? Yeah, of course. All right, well, then maybe I won't. Uh, maybe I'll go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Look, you got to laugh out of Cody on that yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, yay! That's actually one of my favorite noises. The two, either a yay or a wee. Wee! <laughs> but when, and, and just in general, like when a, when a forty-year-old dude does wee, it's hysterical. Yes. Right? But a little <laughs> child doing it is amazing. Yeah, like, I don't fantastic. know if I can do it, but I'm Try scared. It. Okay. Wee! Spin in your yeah. chair and do it. Wee! Spin in your chair it's, and do it. It, it yeah, doesn't you, feel right. Spin in your chair and do it. That's what I, I don't know if I can. Yeah. Try yeah. To take your try headphones off. Right, take your headphones off right. and try to do it. Because that, that is when it'll feel it'll feel right. more legit. Wee! Yeah. Well. <laughs> Yeah, we'll it's like a mouse Wee! caught in a trap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the the rasp doesn't do well with wheeze. <laughs> no, some good yeah. stuff. Uh, that was good. Uh, my but my two year old sitting on a on a chair and scooting her feet yeah. going wee <laughs> like that's that's amazing. amazing. It's really <gasps> good stuff. My little uh, tired. Oh. This is a lot of energy the in the morning. My buddy has a my buddy from home has like a three year old daughter, me two and a half, something like that, and uh, I don't know. And she was on a power or a like big wheel, and she did that like she's coming yeah, down. And she likes the best. Wee! So, uh, what's a big wheel? Big wheel is the like, old the school. Big, yeah. Keep on turning. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's a... never keep on burning. See that? Th- now hey. that's a song. That's way to go. That's how you sing a song. Yeah. Thank Come you. on. Yeah. It's really good. You're playing along. <laughs> Your other oh, songs. More of that. Wow. We Roxy, went all in. Roxy, I'm fire. <laughs> See, I played around with the bit. See, no, what no. was it? Oh. You, you see, you had the song. You had it. Yeah, and then you, you went it. into no, more you, songs. You made me get my head because you were giving corrections on the song. Right. Right. Cool. Yeah. Mm. Perfect. Um, that was forward. good. Thanks. Moving good. forward. Moving, moving forward. I have no notes. I don't have any notes. I didn't have a pen until after the I show have, started. So. No, wait, have you gotten to the point where they reference Die Hard yet in Stranger Things? I, <gasps> you know, the thing, I don't think so because I... I think you'd know. Because uh, there was something that was going on. I'm like, well, this is definitely going to be the part where they do, and they didn't. But then it wouldn't make sense that they reference Die Hard because it takes place in 86 and Die Hard didn't come out until 88. That's true. That does that does so make a lot no of sense. There's no way they could have referenced yeah. Die Hard if it was '86. No, no, no. They don't. There's oh, there's a line that a guy says. But he doesn't actually from, say Die Hard. No, no, no. Okay. No. Well, then they can yeah. get away with it. Yeah. Totally. Um, but it's a nod. It is yeah. a nod. Yeah. What's yeah. everyone's plans for uh, next week for Comic Con? Do we know Yo. what's going on yet? You don't know what's going on. Yet. You have no Do you? idea. I'm going to. The, I'm doing Ellis' I mean, show. I know you're doing, doing crowd warm up at the Schmodown. Right. And that's it. Yeah. Which will be so fun. you're gone on Wednesday, so your point is, what are we doing Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for no, the no, show? No, not for the show. And then we'll figure oh. the show out. We'll figure the show out. So here's what I got. Okay, what you got? I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I believe That's I will good. be at Comic-Con at some point. Uh, I think... In sync with everyone else. Then what I the think I'm on? working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. In comic con I, I think, but okay. I'm not sure. 
I'll uh, tell you what not I'm, dry yet. I'm going to tell you that this is going to be my favorite Comic Con that I've ever gone to. Because you're not doing Jack. Until Saturday. Yeah. Not a fucking thing. That's nice. Normally I've had the cover. Listen, Jack. Yeah. Normally How is Sadie giving you the okay to just go yeah, down? Yeah, that's and what do I'm nothing? confused. Does because she not, I'm not know? No, no, no. Because I'm not just, I'm not, because the thing is, what I normally used to do is that I would run around the fucking place and go to Hall H and do all the, Hall H has shit for panels this year. Uh, Besides a, the, the Frosty panel. Well, Frosty, I was going to say that panel. Uh, well, and Marvel. <laughs> Marvel, uh, Dark Crystal, there's like four or five panels. Terminator, that, Top yeah, Gun. That's what I'm saying, there's maybe five panels for the majority of it. Like we were just talking about it, Frosty's panel and and the, uh, the, the Marvel panel, like the two big panels to go and see. Hall H, for the most part, has shit panels. So what I'm going to do is the majority of stuff that comes out on uh, the internet, I'm going to do live streaming stuff from my hotel room or mm-hmm. from directly from Comic-Con in general. Then I'm going to hit the floor. I'm going to do some stuff from the floor. I'll bring like RB3 with me. So I'm going to do some I think you stuff. and I are going to hang a lot. Yeah. Because I think that that's pretty much what that's my it. days are looking yeah. like, So too. I will be working and covering stuff. Yeah. I'm just not going to be killing myself like I have been for the last like 10 years. And then years. partying at night, yeah? Right. And, that, because, and networking. Because that is why, and when the answer comes down to as far as how so you, because it's the mar it's it's marketing and networking yeah, yeah. like networking uh, at those parties is the it's biggest it's thing so to, important it's the biggest thing to do yeah. and and so that's why I for the last three years it's really been my comic con is and things have kind of happened for Schmodown and for here and the things that I've met from people at parties so yeah so I like kind of I like thing. to think that that the parties are good for networking but I've been for five years and nothing has ever come out of any of those parties <laughs> I, I shit house that's true I yeah. book 90% of my work for the following year at Comic Con yeah. yeah book yeah. 0% of anything at Comic Con ne- well never, I don't you know, you know if you try. know that though for sure like do how you? do you know which things I know because really? I've never booked a thing oh, okay. <laughs> but, 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 here's the, but, but how here's do you know I agree with Roxy I, on this and I'll tell you why because I remember there was one year like even for example if you're that guy at the Nerdist party that's dancing with all these people and like oh that's the dancing guy yeah like, oh, that's Makuga. Somebody like, pops people, up in your head six you. months so later. That paid off. I'm yeah. sure that, that's that what I mean. I've danced with people, but yet nothing has paid off. You don't know. We that. don't know. Chiquino, he knows you. Ch- Ch- Michael Chiquino knows yeah, right. you. Yeah. He's almost died guy. That's yeah, the nuts guy. Yeah. I that's mean, the you're nuts the nuts guy. guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was. Uh, I, I was. I'm terrified to make you chicken now because of that yeah, stupid no. sesame seed stuff that I make. Because totally. I was every time now that I I marinate my chicken with the soy soyaki. I think, oh my God, this could kill Makuga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's such a weird thing to think, unless you're feeding him. Well, I know, but I just I didn't realize it until around two weeks ago that those seeds were could kill oh, my yeah. friend. My little uh, my cousin, my little cousin is super allergic to sesame seeds too. We didn't find Jeez. just found out she's two. Oh no, like two and a half. And they how did they where find does this out? Come she from? had she had an Ugh. allergic reaction. Who was the first person in your family to? It was it you? Me? Did you, start, you son of a bitch! Oh, yeah. You passed it uh-huh. You did this. I, it was yeah. me. Mm. Look at me. Are you guys allergic? Yeah. To I did this to you. Penicillin. Really? Sulfa. Sulfur? It's an antibiotic, yeah. Sulfur? Sulfa. Gives, gives them the shits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Huh. Not really, no. <laughs> it gives them the deaths. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised. I, I well, you were able to to start the show yesterday and say correctly what was going on. I was yeah. waiting for the hey Riley got the shits. I wasn't here. <laughs> wasn't here. And I was at lane prone on the ground many, and be like, oh, how, many, oh, how many of the fans tweeted oh, you? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, how many of the fans tweeted you when you're out if you got the shits? Actually, I did. I got zero. Not yesterday. I'm saying normal. yesterday. Well, normally, I mean, you get like what five or six at least. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, that's not, not you know. It's not too bad. We can say six. Because there's like it's like five or six people going. Yeah. <laughs> the rest are you know you're adults. A, you're a stern person. Ooh. Did you see stern. Howard? Oh, Howard. Stern. Did you see this like, thing that you. popped out? I didn't listen to the whole thing, but like. Uh, they, Is this when you texted me the private parts picture? No, it was just that was that was just a, a funny thing that was going on. I guess it just went over your head. Well, I'll explain it some other time. Well, Darina's watching the show. I just got a text from her saying you're allergic to sulfa too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. She's also allergic to sulfa. Darina is also allergic to sulfa. Nice. Well, she did not have the shits. I didn't even know what sulfa was until now I know sulfa how to is a, everyone is yeah, it's, it's on a rock. It's some kind of antibiotic and uh, yeah. yeah sure. anyway, <laughs> anyway, so Stern, Stern, what's going on? So something happened in like 2013. He was doing a presentation to his entire staff, mm-hmm. right? And inside, and I and I, I've listened to six minutes. I think it's like an hour presentation. So, and he did like a PowerPoint thing. But inside of it, he was telling people like to create fake accounts, to like Twitter accounts, to pump out the the show, and do, like. And people are criticizing. Can you bring up like the? It's in the Facebook group. If you if you look oh, for I missed it. this. Yeah, I just saw it this morning. They posted it in the Facebook group. And I want to listen to the entire thing. Um, I don't know the basis. I just looked at the comments of it, and people were giving him shit about it. But what? from what I saw in the beginning of it, it just looked like he was having a presentation. On, on what to do to improve the show. 
but I don't know the the ultimate criticisms of what's going on with it. Uh, if you keep, yeah, let, let us know when you find it. Scroll, scroll. Uh, scroll. Did you see that fight uh, at Disneyland? Oh, I saw that. Not yeah. my fault. I didn't see that either. Where have I been? What's happening? It was oh. like it was a three minute video of this. Four minutes. It's a Four family. minutes. It's a guy and like physical fam- or oh, yeah, yeah. he beats up two women. Uh, the women fight him, then they fight each other. There's a woman in like a rascal scooter. Then there's what another do you mean woman. fight? Like, like fight, punching. punching. Punch. The ma- at Disney, the at man Disney. Yeah. So they're, punching they're having an yes. argument. The whole family, right? And then yeah. like a husband the, wife. There it is. That was kids. it. Guys. That's it. Yeah. Um, so then so it, it, it just looks like a whole bunch of family members, right? So then there are some kids. There are some kids watching it. But, but he's beating up his children, or is no, 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 just so, right. so they're in this argument, and the one woman she spits in the guy's face, yep. and that then the guy slaps the slaps one woman, and then the other guy who I guess is with the woman, they square <laughs> and up, and they're big, and they start squaring up, and they're, they're going to throw punches, and then the guy starts going after the woman again, and then the woman that he's She's with, huge, the, but then too. the woman that he's with the whole time. Like she says something, then he starts going after her, and yeah. he's like, "I'm going to jail tonight. I'm going to jail tonight." Yeah. I'm, yep. like, I'm like, "Just get what, out of Disney World." What yeah. did happen? Disneyland. I, I don't know what happened. They I mean, reopened they, the in- investigation because this thing went viral. He beat the shit out of two yeah. women. The, apparently, yeah. the the police were called, and then the family in general was like, they they didn't want to talk, and this, this, and that. But tough the shit. videos going. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And it's uh, yeah, it's, it's going, it's going, going everywhere. Sometimes when you just look at this world and say, "Ew," just, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's you're an ill moment. You're, that was you're, ill. you're at Disneyland. Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing? What are yeah. you fighting over? Uh, probably the ticket prices, how much food is. Couldn't get I mean, into, it's, to, <laughs> it's not the happiest place on earth. I'll tell you that much. Galaxy's Edge. Not true. Yeah, it's very true. False. You just made up a lie. No, I didn't. So this is this is the thing. So. Howard Stern. So this was leaked, though. One. So you can, click, you can click on it. So they just don't play the whole thing. But they had it's just leaked footage of Howard Stern demanding staff to create fake Twitter accounts. But just go to some of the like the actual comments. Wait, but how is that? Where are they? That's not. Yeah, that's not like serious. illegal. Well, I, I got to see what the entire like the whole basis of it is too. Like I just saw someone post it this morning. I started listening to it. And I was just, they said this is more embarrassing than Gary's. T- I don't even know why it's like what it is. Like the Probably whole desperate. Yeah, I don't know. What, I mean, he was just trying to build out the entire. Uh, you know, his, 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 be the, more active on social media. Like well, he wanted. He basically wanted to quote. There's improve. people around here who look like zombies. Uh, quote like that lead singer from Soundgarden we had on. Quote. Yeah. I'm just reading Who was what the people lead are singer read. of Quote, Soundgarden. Cody? I was waiting Chris. for this. It wasn't Chris Cornell, no. was it? Yes, of course. Oh yeah, yeah. An yeah. audio slave. Right, right. But then who was? But if he's talking, about, he is he it's talking about Chris Cornell? I, yeah, I think before, he couldn't think of Chris Cornell's Chris name. Cornell. Is uh, what somebody is saying. Yeah, this is 2013. Gotcha. But anyway, and you guys know is, how obsessed I am with Chris Cornell. That's my, all I listen to. My point with this whole thing is that it's it's, it's more about like he's this is you just can't you just can't trust anyone. Right. You can't trust anyone because no matter what uh, and the extent I don't know what the hell he said inside of this whole thing. This is a this is a meeting he's having for his company. And the His business, and somebody leaks it six years later, still. But it's like you can't trust disgruntled anyone. employee. Disgruntled employee. You can't employee. trust anyone nope. these days. You just can't further because the thing already has like two hundred thousand views, and people are talking about it. And I'm just confused. Like, people are upset because they're saying that he did he, I, but did he say something uh, 2019 wrong, or did he just say something people aren't liking? I think it's just because of the fact that he he looks like a hypocrite because I think a lot of the stuff that he was saying inside of the stuff was stuff that he bashed like Imus for doing and and telling people to do. Like, Got it, but he didn't say anything. No, like no, nothing yeah, like yeah. like a fa- like not like nothing me too stuff. Or yeah, yeah. No, 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 just so it, people it, are just upset with the way that he re- conducted. Saying him. he's desperate, saying that it's like you know, look well, the, the at create of, fake Twitter accounts is the headline. Yeah, so yeah, that yeah, seems yeah. to be. Well, this was this is a guy who is. Who is a who posted this is an absolute he hates uh starting okay so the talk. time codes uh can you guys either make that bigger or read them for us alex hey. give yeah, us the time says, ha, uh, ha 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 itchy scalp i mean i guess he's scratching his head claims to show at 23 million subs in 2013 he has an obsession with oprah winfrey he talks about the crew uh pitching i don't know what i can't remember. htv crew pitching lol they oh, would be, and they'd be disbanded, disbanded months later i see later. howard stern takes a pro gay uh, agenda stand high pitch gay mike morales shout out howard takes a pro gay agenda stand so he's pro gay so i don't so he's a good guy but i don't he's, i don't know i don't this guy's i mean that just tells you a lot about the person who posted this video yeah, yeah probably doesn't he just, like he just doesn't people. like him he doesn't like him and it, yeah. so it's, it's just you know we've all experienced high pitch like that. gay mike morales shout out Says roughly they have 13, point, 13 to fourteen billion yeah. bullshit in twenty thirteens. This is uh. Go to I mean, can we do the? Where's the, go to thirty eight fifty? Click on that. Th- which says fake Twitter timestamp. Yeah. Okay, all of a sudden, Lady Gaga. I, I'm telling you, every celebrity reads their Twitter. Every celebrity starts getting random things from fans. Hey, when are you gonna do the Howard Stern show? We want you on the show. And they're getting all this publicity material. And they're getting and they're getting bombarded. And it works. Said before, it's called witness to bang on the door. We gotta bang on people's doors. 
I don't know how long we can play this, so let's let's yeah. Yeah, stop it. But uh, but, uh, but, uh, but the bullets say everyone go back up, go back up. Everyone creates fake Twitter accounts, and hey, Lady Gaga, uh, Howard Stern loves you. Go on show. Right. So it's a, it's like it's like what but, we used to do with uh, with tweet, tweet a celebrity. celebrity. Yeah, I mean, it makes legitimately perfect sense. What right. are people upset about? Well, I think we by he's saying create for his staff to create uh, fake accounts to tweet at the celebrities, also as opposed to legit people doing it, and that's what people are giving him shit about. You know, as opposed that's to like so, somebody, that is so stupid. Like me saying to you, Roxy, I want you. Create a fake account. I RJ totally, yeah. I totally get what's yeah. going on. I just think people need to pick. I mean, are they looking at the state of the world? This is their issue. This is people's issue. Yeah. Howard I mean, Stern trying to make his show bigger. Well, people are going to try to take shots at, at everyone, especially when you're on top. They try to knock you off the. the, the, the pedestal, so. I love him. I think he's a genius. I yeah. think he knows how to stay up with the times. I think he's done something nobody else could possibly do. And if he has people creating fake Twitter accounts to make his show bigger, and that's part of his marketing plan. Yeah. Piss off. Right. Mm-hmm. Not him. Everybody else. What would your fake Twitter handle be? Sloppy Balls eighty one. Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's have, my uh, fake Twitter account. I that have no. one fake uh Instagram. Do you guys know this? No, I have a, no, I have no, an no. alter ego. What is it? What is it? It's not gonna be fake anymore. I don't know what I should <laughs> tell people. <laughs> No, it's my alter. It. It's my alter ego. I don't actually use her for anything other than I post my feelings on it. Oh, she's um, at, RJ. At, no, well, don't, don't say what it is. Okay. Then, then people are gonna know what it is. Yeah. Okay, you know, that's the point. You. Yeah. All right. Yeah, no, that's silly. Well, I don't. I don't post. Um, I don't yeah. write on other people's stuff. Doesn't matter. I'll tell you gonna guys. Know. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all fair. That's Apparently, the, if there's. I mean, I'm not shocked by this, but you know, a lot of kids these days have like their public account that their parents know about, then they have a private account. Oh, that it's just called. It's called a Finsta. Oh, yeah, Finsta. Yeah. What? Yeah. Fake Insta. Fake Insta. Wow. Finsta. So, they, like literally, you so, can say to somebody, "What's your Insta? What's your Finsta?" Yeah. I know that because when people are applying yeah. for jobs, you have to look for their Finsta. Is there any way yeah. to do like a Thanos snap and make like social media go? Away? I know. <laughs> it would. It would help. It is driving me insane. No, I know, but it's it's it's, it's hypocritical too because then we'd have, we, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have jobs. But no. I don't know. Maybe I could live easier. I have the hardest time with Facebook still. That's the one. At it's least the Twitter. One. Twitter words. Instagram pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Facebook clusterfuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like so Facebook much stuff. I like, the, I like the clusterfuck. I don't know. You're a big Facebook guy. I well, it's easier to promote there. Like, like, mm-hmm. and it's, because I, I literally just go to the Schmodown group and connect to people there I know, and I have the conversation with. <laughs> that to me is that to me is a, a better conversation to have with people because it's just one thing everyone's talking about. Mm-hmm. Not a fan of Twitter at all. I can't. <laughs> I hate Twitter. Um, but I, I still Twitter, yeah. I still Twitter's post my it. favorite of all of them. I think it is the it is the it is the explanation and definition of mob mentality it is the one place that no one no one is safe and everyone mm-hmm. and, and no one's protected and everyone goes after everybody and it's it is a it is a shit show over there yep uh, it, it is it is really i mean, I mean is on facebook kind of a mob mentality no. It depends on where yeah. you are with, but it depends I've on where you are it. with it. It just depends on where you are with it. But like, uh, for, I'm saying personally for myself, and after watching that little girl from uh, Avengers oh, get destroyed Jesus. on Twitter. Uh, she she was getting like people were going after her like from from angry fans and stuff too. I was like, this is this is a shit this is yeah. a shithole. It's a yeah. complete shithole. I mean, it kind of I think it all kind of depends on what you do. One, what you do with Twitter, and two, how easy you can ignore it. Because I just stick that minute. And that's my point. Now yeah. I, I, I I will just I, I post. Schmodown stuff, and I will like again. If a guest comes on, I like to promote that the guest is here. Or I'll respond to the guest. Like when when it's Sean the best came with on, links like Instagram, you still can't stories. When you're do that. for what yeah. you're talking about, it's the best. The best, yeah, hundred percent. I'm talking about like just the, the bad stuff. The bad stuff is is a really bad. Oh, stuff. Oh yeah, I saw when Sean came on. He he wrote back and he said, Christian, it was so good to it was see good to all catch that. Up. It was so great. Yeah, and, that, yeah. And, I, and I responded to him immediately. I had a conversation with with John uh, John Horowitz the other day from from Cobra Kai. Yeah, that's awesome. About that's why. Great, yeah, yeah, it's about bagels and pizza and stuff. But I know what like you're that. talking about too. Right. The part that sucks is the worst. That's that's yeah. where that's kind of where I'm coming. Not not from the positives of what it is able to accomplish is is great, and it is a good thing for a lot of people. It's just the problem is that the bad thing is the ultimate bad out of all of them. It is the worst one. Massachusetts. What? Huh? This is how I feel about people from Massachusetts. The best oh. of the best people in the world are from Massachusetts, and the worst of the worst people are in the from world are from Massachusetts. Well, you live there yeah. yeah. Hey, Masshole, yeah, there's yeah. a reason for it. The, uh, speaking of Cobra Kai, uh, Perry Nemiroff uh, moderating a panel at Comic Con yeah. for this Cobra morning. Kai. Whoa. He's moderating the Cobra Kai. Where panel. is it? Do you know? I think it's Ballroom 20. Wow. Ballroom 20, yeah, it's a big yeah, one. That's a big amazing. One. Yeah. Go yeah. Perry. Yeah. She's Absolutely. killing it. She's been watching that show a lot lately, yeah. too, so it's good. When I went on a Movie Talk, I was just so impressed with her. She when did, did you go on? Uh, maybe two weeks ago? No, last week. Last week? Yeah. Yeah. A week. 
okay. in the last month. Nope, you're right. It was two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? But it went good. Uh, went I, have well. no, I have no track of days You don't anymore. know how it went. It went really oh. well, but she's so impressive. She, she knows just, a lot. She, she knows a lot, but watching what she's doing behind the scenes and like as stories are breaking, just real time m- m- calling audibles and then like, her monologue at the top, she's just really good. She's yeah. really she, good. And like me in reviews, she actually pays attention and makes solid points where I'm just like, now what was that thing? It's just not, that's not Who's that director? Know. Steven Spielberg. Yeah, yeah she yeah. for sure knows what she's going to say yeah. before totally. she says it and that's not a shot at you, Josh. You and yeah. I come from the same camp of yeah. figure Clark it out camp. as it's coming yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah. While the we, words are coming yeah, out, figure fit, out where you're going. That's why we fit well in this show. Yeah, totally. for sure. But she does, it was I was just so impressed. No, that's the show that that calls for that type of research. That's one of the reasons why I was like, it's not, it's, it ain't my bag anymore because like that, because of what Perry and and they're able to do is like they they Perry and when she does Jedi Council, she comes in pre- prepped with the notes right. and everything oh, yeah. too, and it's like it's not a it's not a fly by the no, seat of your pants show. Whole, that yeah. rundown is crazy, and we, we were talking about the prom, you know, the Ryan Murphy, Meryl Streep, whatever oh, that yeah, Netflix that movie Netflix. was, <laughs> and they had announced right before that Ariana Grande was going to be in it. While we're on air, Ariana Grande was no longer going to be in oh. it, and the way that she just segued through that, I was like, how did you even just find that out? Right. Like, well, while chill. you're hosting a show, up oh, and no more is that. I'm like, wow, you. She's got the news elves. Yeah, she's got, she's got, got those the elves. news elves. The up news there. elves. I, I remember that one. Remember that one that guy? He's not in the movie anymore. That one. We got rid of his little ass. <laughs> get out of his. Get rid of his little, little, little elf. Want to get the fuck out of any little news elf? I mean, they, oh, listen, there's all these news. these kids with these elves on the shelves. Get, just get rid of the fucking shelves. Get rid of the elves. You stick in the right ear. Hey. Never the left. Nope. Everybody knows that. <laughs> it's a god gnome of this. You were gonna try. I heard I was you. Like, take your shot, Rock. Go. Take your shot. Go. I was watching. Oh. The, she, I was she watching looked, the horse get up to the gate, she, <laughs> and then it turned looked, around. She looked like that little kid in that they show the baseball game that had the oh, cotton candy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she just stopped. She oh, was ready. She wanted I, to do I it. I didn't yeah. know whether to be elf or Legolas or, or, oh. or person. <laughs> so I was like, Oh, Riley did elf voice. I could do elf voice. But then I was like, Oh, it's no. too late. You know how it's like over over here we kind of go like little New York accent with the elf, maybe. You should come in with a little Boston accent, come a little competition. And it's the Boston Elf. What's up, Boston Elf? Uh, oh, hee <laughs> <laughs> So I hear you're from Boston. Oh, this, I just can't, I can't think of a boss. It wouldn't work. You have a boss? No, a Boston Elf. Like, uh, it's, it's over. No. <laughs> It, it, just be so better. Some news today. <laughs> let's move it. Let's move it. This. What do we? What do we got? Zoo, believe Zoo. I can do it. All right, try it again. No, it's over. All right, I got it. This time. But so, next time, whatever next you do, time. I'm just gonna do it, yeah. even if it comes out like poop. Great. See, you're welcome. Now you're taking. Now you're taking. Now stuff. you got the shits. Oh, <laughs> so, come <laughs> on, the shits. <laughs> At least she took the shit. Took All right, what's the next? Shit. What's, What's next, next What's is what is first. There's some breaking news from George R. R. Martin himself saying <laughs> that uh, the Starks and the Dire Wolves are going to be featured in, in the, the prequel. prequel. That's yes. Cool. So old school Starks. Wow. Yeah. Starks. What is this, 80 years before? Is that what it is? <laughs> no, I think it's more than that. I'll take it easy. I didn't know. A thousand. Uh, the Children of the Forest. I believe it's 10,000 so years. Star- in, so in the, the Starks are that? Uh, are, are they're yeah, they're long, some huh? of the first people. Long yeah. blood. Okay. Roughly 5,000 years before Jeez. the events of Game of I Thrones. The Starks will definitely be there, he said. And while much has been made about uh-huh. the fact the prequel predates dragons, that doesn't mean there won't be other creatures. Obviously, the White Walkers are here, or as they're called in my books, the Others. And that will be an aspect of that, Martin says. There are Tides things like the dire wolves and mammoths. What do you guys like better, White Walkers or Others? Well, White Walkers others is lost. The others are lost. Oh, oh that's right. Yeah. yeah. So, but, uh, so I like White Walkers. Oh. Yeah. Because, I mean, yeah. I love Lost. Yeah. <laughs> I love, lamp. Yeah. I love lamp. I love lamp. I love lamp. But it's uh, I don't know. This is this is cool. I mean, uh, like, you know, there's going to be more creatures and there's going to be Got more be. things. Like Five thousand years beforehand, and, and I don't know if they're going to do. I mean, how much of the White Walkers are going to be there? Is the Night Night King? Is he going to? St- well, still I don't even know if he's years. created yet. Is well, he? yeah, he was the first one, wasn't he? No, no, no. I'm saying, like the Children of the Forest, have they created the Night King yet? But if there's White Walkers, he was the first White Walker. Right. Okay. So, so they're the, saying that he said they're, the, he said they're going to be White Walkers. Why did Got I it. not think that he was the first White Walker? I'm, that but, makes sense. I'm but, pretty uh, sure. I mean, like, I mean that, I'm, I'm that not Ken perfect, Napsok, but That yeah. makes perfect sense because yeah. if he goes, uh, but that. Wow, I yeah. don't know why that never clicked for me. They yeah. should, you know, they push that little stone and in there. Into- I like the Children of the Forest. Oh, They've yeah, always yeah. been very intriguing to me. Yeah. They're kind of like very exotic models with those eyes and like the darker creepy. skin. Yeah, yeah, creepy. Yeah. So, I mean, it'll be interesting to see for sure. And, and, and I don't know when. Uh, when is that supposed to come out? Uh, next year. Yeah, Tuesday. Next year. It comes out this Tuesday? Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Tuesday. Remember, I'm um, Harrison Ford. L- oh. uh, later next week. Oh, okay. We mm. start filming next week. We talk about the Seven Kingdoms of Westeros. There were seven kingdoms at the time of 
uh, Aegon's conquest. You're mumbling. You have no merit right now. With a, <laughs> do you, but, do it again. but if you go back for then there are nine kingdoms and twelve kingdoms, and eventually you go back to where there are a hundred kingdoms, petty kingdoms, and that's the era we're talking about here. That's oh, cool, petty kingdoms. I huh? like that Naomi Watts casting. Yeah, yeah big me fan. too. She's big great. Fan. Who's, who do we know that's in this show thus far? Naomi Watts. Yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. Good. I'm fired today. I tell you. <laughs> Just Naomi really? Watts. Mm-hmm. Fired like, it's also like Sammy Sosa this. hitting homers back yeah. in uh, '98. Uh, you know what yeah. a show Naomi Watts is in right now that is very, I think, is really well done. But I feel like Clog the Sink. S- yeah, totally. Yeah. Though season two of Clog the Sink is fantastic. <laughs> it's re- it's really not. You're not bad. getting me. I'm not trying to get you. Oh, who are you going for? It? The sink is fucking clogged over on the right side of the table. I'll tell you what. She stuck her hand in the garbage disposal, lost it. She hasn't been on the show since. The pinky episode. Oh, God. It was bad. Well, the, the ring was stuck in the sink, and she had to stick it in there. It's allegedly. allegedly. Remember when yeah. I punched your hand with my ring? I do. I thought it was in a movie. Yeah. I was that like episode that. four of season no, it, one? It, that was season one. It was season it one. And we got, we, yeah. All right, Riley, what the fuck is next? <laughs> Wait, I didn't get to tell you. It doesn't matter. The anymore. loudest voice, what? you should watch it. I what? feel like the older I get, the more involved I am in like real life stories and politics kind of a stuff. I yes. think that's like a natural transition. Old. But but uh, the loudest voice, the one with Russell Crowe as Roger Ailes in the fat oh, suit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Naomi Watts is in it. Dude, the first two episodes, great. Okay. Yeah. Unrelated to that, you know what I started binging? What? Schitt's Creek. It's, it's great. Oh, I, I it's heard so, so good. good. I started it. love it. I tried it. I'm I'm 10 episodes in and, yeah, and you didn't like it? Oh my it's god. It's the same thing that I have with every Your wife show. didn't like it. We, we watched Correct. it for an episode and then no, not for me. And mm-hmm. then I just I never seen I, it again. I'm in yeah. tears watching this. Yeah, it yeah. is so funny. Uh, Levy's see. son, Eugene Levy's son the, is a yeah. f- he's he, I mean he's just like his dad but better. I want to do a spin-off series. Someone needs to do with his character from from Splash. Oh yeah! What a week I'm He's having! So, yeah, just just me and the moron twins here. Oh, we're not twins. Let's pee down the air hole. Pee down his air hole. Him, him, and the actor that plays Needle Nodes, Ned Ryerson, in Groundhog Day would make a great duo I, in a show. That character is one of my favorite characters all time. Mm-hmm. He's I so love that fucking that funny. What did he initially come up because of? Canada. No, yeah. you were talking about Splash. Many, what did we find out? There's a Splash Two or whatever. Oh yeah, and that's Splash why two. He, Splash has come up on this show so many times. So many times, yeah. it's great. Underrated movie. The first and first and the penis. <laughs> that's the, hey, Rory. Hey, Rory. The Coomster. The first and penis. First, the penis. When he says, "Hey, Ra Ring," it's right. the best. Do you remember? Here's trivia for you. What does Ra Ring mean? Uh, Ball sack. No. I guessed Ra-ring? first, which means uh, that I yeah. played the bit. He's trying. Just think about the, the quote. Hey, I the know. quote says, Hey, Rari. He says, first and first and he says Hey, something. I have a 12 inch penis. Babe. Hey, babe. <laughs> That's right. Hey, Rari. Can you bring that up? <laughs> can, <laughs> can you bring Just wait, that up? John Candy, Swedish splash. Hey, I don't know. You, see, you read a couple dirty magazines, so, stuff sinks in. Because the reaction that holds. Do you remember this scene? Yeah. Hey, Rari. There it is. That's it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Wasn't expecting you back today. <laughs> Doctors Jared and Johansson from the Stockholm Institute. Wait. I thought they were coming. We're gonna get flagged for this. No, not for this one. Oh no. <clears throat> no, that story was just to fool the press. Oh. <laughs> he, um, you know I'm half Swedish. Hey, who had a son bought it? He did. Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. 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 Oh yeah. yeah. He stops him with the guy's face. He's not buying it. He looks over. There it is. This is it. Hey, Roaring. Get her in Tulp and uh, in Tom's penis. <laughs> Cody, I think you know what my next uh, statement's going to be there, right? Clip it out. <laughs> Stand by. I want, hey, hey. I want to be in the middle of an interview with a guest. And, hey, Rani, <laughs> let's go. And so, and Tom Pins. So, Swedish uh, Christian Harloff or Danish Christian Harloff. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know? Uh, do you did you know what that what that meant? Well, in so, so Danish and, and Swedish, Swedish, very different, very different <laughs> but you, languages. But you, but you spent time. Yes, in Sweden. but here's the thing. Yes, yeah. I lived in Sweden for uh, two years. Twelve, 12 months. Twelve months. Yeah, one year. Uh, Twelve months, one year. Yes. Uh, it's also the same inch as my penis. Oh, uh, yes. ah, yes, that's yes, nice. yes, yes. So, so you could relate. Yes, I can. A uh, very large. Uh, well, see, in Clog, Dan- clogging in, toilets in Denmark, yeah. we our penises are. All 12, 12 inches. inches or smaller. Oh. 
So it starts... 12, in the, 12, well, 12 inches or smaller, that would make sense. Right, right, right. right, so, right. Okay, but you were... We, but we are very logical town. people. Yeah, but well, you were talking to the talk of your town, or it was an average, I guess. Yes, it's the average. average. I mean, well, you know, so in my family, yes. uh, we start... My grandfather was... Horgan. A, yes, Horgan. I my, remember Horgan. My, my grandfather, Horgan, he yeah. had a 10.5-inch ten, ten penis. Or hog, as they Yeah, well, you know, it's because... Right, because yeah. of Horgan yeah. the hog. Correct, yeah, correct, right. correct. Everybody knows the story of Horgan's a hog. Yeah, it's legendary. Yes. I heard about it. I'm sorry, I don't remember it. Can you tell me? Yes. No, so so Hogan's a hog. It's the story goes like this: is that it was a family of hogs. Oh, <laughs> wait, it's sounding familiar. Yes, and so what happened was Hogan lost all of his hog family. Oh, and he must find them it's via measuring their penises. Mm. Oh, mm-hmm. and also, when did you? Uh, Change over from the metric system. Oh well, no. So Denmark is on both because we want our children to on both speakers. No, no, both no, uh, uh, centimeters uh, and both. inches. Yeah. Both. You know, they Not both. Use. both. But you like the both speakers. Yeah, I love them. Okay, sorry. Oh, they surround both. my house yeah. with both. sound. Okay, good, good. And so, uh, the, so basically, our children need to know inches, yards, right. and then they need to know meters and centimeters as well as kilo- right. kilometers because so perhaps they move to America and they're like, how many kilometers is here? And right. some guy in New York goes, oh, we don't talk like that. And I just got, I just got to tell my children that you have to l- learn the yards and right. the, the uh, miles and stuff like so this. So they all have to measure their penises in inches. In inches. And well. everybody knows that inches are 2.54 centimeters per right. inch. Okay. So my penis is uh, upwards of 20. Four centimeters. Well, listen. As always, you've oh. just you've just given us so much information. Oh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to have you. Hey, real quick before you let me go. Yes, please. Um, Stein Bromson yes. is performing here in Burbank. Oh, really? At the Starlight Bowl. Is this a true story? July twenty second. Okay. It's at three p.m. Well, you, you will be there. Obviously. Oh, of course. Yes. Oh, that three p.m. performance. Three p.m. performance. She's she does not perform at night anymore. Her eyeballs cannot taste the darkness. Oh. Mm. So she yeah. must perform in light. Well, thank you so much. Oh, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that. Uh, Love I gotta, the show. I gotta ask you a question. Uh, do you think that this guy knows <laughs> what the hell is going on? I'll be. Uh, yeah. Do you want me to really answer it? Yeah. I don't know if he's around anymore. Really? Well, I say that because he hasn't posted jack crap in years, and then I've done some Googling. Uh, I just can't find him. Uh, his yeah. last post was September. Tw- you know what we should do every year on we're September 26th? Yeah. We should do a, a Danish Christian Harloff day, and we should just read, Goman Kaka. Nobody is. Goman But the thing is, I can't see if somebody's posted on his wall, so maybe we should friend him and see. But I've been looking. I've been looking to try to see. He, he probably shut off his notifications because he's getting a lot of requests. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What's he got in the background there? What is that, swords? It looks like a nunchucks. Yeah, what is that? That's, I don't know if you want to mess with this guy. He, look at the smile. Oh, that's a door. Oh, that's a doorway. A door. So what, what? Look at it. Look how lovely he is. He is just a great just smile. Really lovely. It's yeah. A bang up, a bang up sweater. Right a really there. a nice. It's just like he's shawl collar and, with a lot of buttons. Well, he's probably freezing. It's Denmark. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Can you see the translation on some of those comments? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Helena Harloff. <laughs> Helena Harloff got to be his mom or sister. Hi, bro. Helena says hi, bro. Welcome hey, bro. on Facebook. What's you up? look. This is, I, I feel bad. This, is, this, guy, this guy's not a public figure. What's up, let's cousin treats? Not. It's not a public figure. Let's leave what, this do you, guy what do you off. think? What's up, cousin treats means? What's uh, what's That's up? It's just a bad translation. Yeah. Uh, I want to be called cousin treats. Cousin treats. That I can call you. Yes. Much better than RJ. Totally. No, RJ's the best. Cousin treats. No one calls you RJ. <laughs> Uh, uh, they call me Cuzzy Treats. What's next, Cousin Treats? Cousin Treats, we got to talk about this Joker stuff. Joker, uh, we got Todd Phillips coming out saying, you know what? We didn't touch any of the comic stuff. We made everything up for the Joker, and it's probably going to piss people off, is yes. what he said. Ooh. Here's the quote. He said, we didn't follow anything from the comic books, which people are going to be mad about. Sounds like a review of mine for a Marvel movie. Yeah. Exactly. We just wrote our own version of where a guy like Joker might come from. That's what was interesting to me. We're not even doing Joker, but the story of becoming Joker, it's about this man. That's where they're going with this. So we might not get any deep cuts of the comic. I'll tell you what, though. Smart to get ahead of it. That's what I was. I was wondering. Smart. Why is this coming out now? It's smart to get ahead of it. Yeah, because you don't that, want people yelling and screaming. Weekend of because if you if you go in knowing it, if if he's already set you up and he's told you that this is that, like you you're probably going to be pissed off if that's what you're looking for. Mm. Like yesterday's conversation, it is not a false bill of goods. He's telling you straight up, this is our own thing. This is how we wanted to do it. This is how it's. You, it might piss you off if you're going in there for that. He has prepared you for it. Now, yeah. you can hate it. You can love it. But he's told you straight up what it's going to be. So I respect that. I, I think that's a – now, not necessarily – I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. i got to mm. see the movie. What but if, I respect the fact that that's what he's doing. What, what, if Todd, he's saying. what if Todd Phillips, out of thin air, pulled the best DC movie in the last 10 years? Like, I mean, since Dark Knight. I Dark mean, Knight could be. 
Maybe. You never know. You never know. I mean, everything, by all accounts, everything I've seen from this looks phenomenal. But I think now this is kind of putting out, uh, you know, is this an Elseworld thing? You know more about what this, Roxy. So yeah. I think that, and and don't listen for the next minute if you haven't heard anything about this. I don't know this is true. This is the Rumorville, right? right. Rumor mill. They're staring at themselves right in a the mirror. Now. There's a rumor now, mill in Rumorville. The rumor yeah. mill right now, and again, don't listen if you don't want to know this, uh, has been that Arthur, uh, the Joker, oh, is the this. illegitimate son of Thomas Wayne. And uh, that would that would mean that they're not pulling from the comics. So I feel like this is him getting ahead of that and people being Super confused on why he's Batman's half brother. Right. Mm. Uh, which is what I think. That's is, a cool fucking story. So I think opinion. that's probably what part of this is saying. I wish I what you guys out. have really? Yeah, I didn't know about that. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, but I don't. I it's don't know if that's true. Right. That's rumor. Just rumor mill right, yeah. right now. Right. I don't know. Now let's look at his comments. If he's not pulling anything, he's making it up. Well, I guess he could just make up that. But I'm I'm looking at this going. There's not going to be maybe a lot of Batman references. But Possibly now you're telling not. me this. Well, I don't know. The other rumor is that the opposite of that. Do you want me not say this? Yeah, I don't really want to know. Okay. Are you good? Yeah, I don't want to really know. Cause just cause in case. It, just in case it's real. It, yeah. co- it contradicts what I just said. It's an opposite right. of what I just said. Okay. So. That, uh, that Do I contradict you. myself? They're, okay. You I contradict d- myself. What's that from? Uh, the Notebook. Separate, so. mm. okay. The Notebook. Well, th- that's so I think that the point being that I think he's saying get ready for us to take not only the comics that you know from Joker, but everything you know about Batman in the DCU or World of DC or whatever, and say we have we we'll are Elseworlds. Right. We have nothing to do with and you guys. And I think that's that's a, that's, that's a great. Thing. Yeah. So I got an answer from from Citizen. He said lubrication. Oh, in lubrication. Uh, let me see that. Uh, no, no. That's what he said. What do you mean, ew? Just, I mean, you've seen sense. there's. I see a lot of girls out there that have like the wet look. Sometimes right. guys can do it too. You just need like don't this. text. You know, text him from my phone. I'm saying Roxy. Oh, you're saying Roxy. You're texting. I'm Roxy. saying Roxy. Well, you can't say Roxy. You're saying Roxy now, but you're not saying it to him. You're She's just typed him. in Roxy. Right. Send. All right. Good story, guys. So look, we're gonna uh, <laughs> we're gonna go to break. I think Jason Mewes is here. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, haven't what heard makes anything you think yet. That? Just because yeah. he's supposed to be here. Uh, <laughs> but it, but if not, we'll have him at eleven thirty. Hopefully, I think he'll be here. Give Sometime between now and the next All right, well, hour, mm-hmm. we're, we're gonna hope. Yeah, we're gonna hope that it's uh, that he knows his live, but if not, we'll have him eventually. So, <laughs> we're gonna go to break. When we get back, we'll talk about other things. Hey guys, Riley here, and let me tell you about Rule of Two. You looking for a Star Wars fix? Well, Rule of Two is that show. It drops on Collider Video's main YouTube channel, as well as on Podcast One's Jedi Council feed. So go over there, subscribe, share it with your friends. It's hosted by myself and Mark Fernandez. We talk everything in the Star Wars universe with a lot of deep dives and a lot of conversations that go all in. You know what to do. Subscribe, join us there, and rise. Okay. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Mailbag. A new episode drops every Saturday and Sunday ass. in your face and in your ears, and I want your answering ass. the questions from you and fans about now. the world of entertainment, film, and television. Me and great this. guests from our sphere do the best to answer your questions from Twitter, from Instagram, and of course, email Wouldn't as like well every boy? Saturday and Sunday. Hi, I'm Koi Jandro, host of Collider Heroes, and I'm here to tell you we've got 20-minute episodes coming at you on Collider Video, on the YouTube, as you've always loved it. Plus, now we've got hour-long podcast dropping every Thursday, so make sure to subscribe to the podcast because it's going to get even more sweaty on the podcast. Plus, every week we're going to try to get some very special guest interviews, all of the people that help shape these movies and TV shows you love. So, video, podcast, interviews all coming at you. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Stay sweaty. Hey guys, Perry Nemirov here to let you know that The Witching Hour is all over Collider right now. You can listen to that horror film podcast with myself, with Haley Fouch. We talk about witchiness, we talk about slashers, we talk about space horror, you name it, all on that show on the Collider Factory feed. We also have clips on the Collider Podcast YouTube channel. And on top of that, you can find an article all about Witching Hour every single Tuesday on Collider.com. Check it out, get scared, hopefully you survive the witching hour.
What's up, Collider fans? Ryan Satin here from ProWrestlingSheet.com, where you can find the top stories throughout the week in the world of professional wrestling. If you're a wrestling fan like myself, then you'd be doing yourself a disservice by not checking out all the shows we do every week on YouTube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. In particular, on Wednesdays, we've got a SmackDown recap show hosted by John Roca and myself, where we pick apart and, and talk about every little thing that happened on the Blue Brand. So do yourself a favor and go subscribe at youtube.com slash C slash wrestling sheet. Okay. Hey guys, Perry here to let you know about the new edition of Collider Movie Talk. We are going up five days a week. We have a short, sweet 20 minute show where we focus on the two biggest stories of the day. You can expect to see all of your favorite Collider personalities on the show, including yeah. Jeff Snyder, John Roca, Haley Fouch. You're getting Josh McCuga every Friday. We're gonna have a blast. It's gonna be informative, fun. Come join us. 3 p.m. PT live every single day of the week right here on the Collider Video YouTube channel. You can also find the show on the Collider Movie Talk feed on our podcast network. So go watch, go listen, however you prefer to get all of your movie news. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Sports Time. Well, you know, if you've been watching us every week, you know we break down the latest and the greatest in the world of sports, talk about the big issues, the big games, all of it with a rotating band of guests like Matt Nose and Josh McCuga. We've had Taylor Bashotti on. We've had so many great guests. Now, if you want to see more of Sports Time or you want to try it out for the first time, remember to subscribe to Collider Sports YouTube channel. And if you want to take us along with you in your ears, you can go and subscribe to the Collider Sports podcast feed for all the sports goodness. Hey guys, it's Riley here. Let me tell you about the Riley Roundtable. You know it, right? It drops every Thursday on Collider Conversations, and I have guests from all across the space. John Roca, Gray Drake, Alexander Desplat came on at one point. We talk everything from movies, we talk about life, and everything in between. What do you want to hear? What do you want to talk about? It's the Riley Roundtable every Thursday on Collider Conversations. You get it there. Hello, how are you guys doing? I'm Christian Harloff. I'm the host of Collider Jedi Council. We talk about everything Star Wars. And if you want to catch our weekly show where we talk about the latest and greatest in Star Wars, it's movie news, it's canon, it's all of it. We take questions from you guys. How do you do it? Main channel, that's right, right here. Subscribe to this channel and you can listen, you can watch, you can do all of it. But if you want to just listen to it, you got the podcast feed too. Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, whatever it is, you can listen to it in your car. Do all of it. It's Star Wars. Episode 9 is coming out. And then after episode you got TV shows, so we're going to be your sports center for Star Wars. Do it. Come on. Be real. I don't know. I'm going to ask Cody. So good. What is that, Cody? This is from Nightcrawler. Oh, oh no wonder I love it. No wonder. It's good. Good stuff. Wow, um, beautiful. We are back. Jason is not here yet, but as soon as he gets here, we'll pop him in the room and uh, we'll shoot the shit about his his movie that he's got going on here, Madness and the Method, that one uh, yeah, Roxy baby. Stryer is actually in as well. She's been talking about she's that. I'm a huge star in it, Christian. You, no, I know, I heard. Huge star. I heard. In it. Big stuff. Who's in this movie? Tell me about this movie. Uh, it's uh, a lot of great people. We got Dean Cain, Terry yeah. Hatcher, Danny Trejo. Dean Cain and Terry Hatcher uh, re reunite in this movie. Yes, yeah, Stan, Stan Lee even. Mm, uh, uh, so a lot of a lot of great people in it. Kevin Smith, Jay Muse, of course, yeah. uh, and it's his directorial debut. Mm -hmm. And uh, I I have a line or so in there, so pretty excited about that. Yeah. And it's it's uh, comedy, it, but Jay is Jay. And Kevin is Kevin, one of those, awesome. and uh, we got some horror elements to it too, so it's a, a lot of fun. Yeah, I want to talk to him about that, and obviously his the his just overall career and and talking mall rats is something I, I want to do with him. But I do uh, I have to talk to him about the reboot. The, yeah, yeah. You know, Got to find out what the hell's going on with that thing. Yeah, I'm so I've seen all the pictures and stuff too, and I, I cannot wait to see it because I was again this is the stuff that we'll cover with him when, when he gets here but uh, 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 Riley what else do you got before we news wise the news wise yeah. is that the the long awaited spin off from the Big Lebowski has yeah. finally been dated for release and this is John Turturro's uh, he the wrote Jesus, the script right? okay. yep the Jesus Rolls oh. is the official uh, title and uh, THR has the news it's going to hit North American theaters in early 2020 Cohen? and uh, Cohen Brothers Co no Cohen no. Brothers uh, don't have any part of this this is all Totoro writing the script, and he directed his role, and he's reprising his main role. And uh, Bobby Carnavale, Audrey Tattoo, John Hamm, Susan Sarandon, and Pete Davidson round out the cast. Uh, Totoro has been trying to whip this film into shape since 2016 when set photos first surfaced. So that was in 2016. Wow. And it was uh, back then it was titled Going Places. So 
the obvious answer is, of course, I'm excited because the, the character stands out. But <laughs> with knowing that no Coen Brothers, no dude, and it's 2016, do you? It's hard. Care? To, it's hard to get excited for me. Yeah, uh, and Big Lebowski is one of my me all too. times. But why not get excited? Because if it sucks, it sucks. But I, I don't know. I feel like they wouldn't do it if it wasn't going to be great. Well, I mean, that's I mean, that's what everybody tons. thinks. What everybody going, thinks of yeah. course, but I, I don't know. I mean, he likes the character. He likes playing the character. But I think the Coen brothers brought the character to life, and the big story, even though he is the big, is not the big Lebowski, but it is is the dude. The dude yeah. is the is the main reason you think about that movie. And Jesus and was, Walter, I mean, yeah, John yeah, Goodman. Jesus was a big part of that, but sure. he wasn't like the standout. So making he had bit like three scenes. Yeah, making yeah. bit characters movies. Doesn't have a great track record. Saul's doing all right. Saul's doing okay. I mean, that's a TV show, but you're right. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, but you're, you're not wrong though. It doesn't have it, but it doesn't have a. But Saul had a huge part in Breaking Bad, right. so spinning yeah. him off. Yeah, I wouldn't call him a bit character. Yeah. No, this is this is the, the admirable part about this is the fact that Turturro loved playing the character, loves the idea, got it into motion, making it happen on his own. That's the thing right. that you applaud and go, good on you for making it happen. But as audience members, I think we have. A right to, right to say, critical. look, I don't, I don't know. It's like you don't have you don't have the two guys making this movie who made the first one so special. In the why first aren't place. they? I don't know. That's why I asked. Doesn't I say. Like, yeah, it doesn't really say. What are the Coen Brothers working on? Another great question. They, well, they just did Buster Scruggs. Obviously, I don't know what they're doing now. Joel Cohen's going to direct something, but not what, with his. What, let's see. What movie. do they got? They have yeah. The last thing that they did was Scruggs. They don't have anything. Suburbicon? Did they? They directed Suburbicon? No, that was Clooney. No, they wrote they it. Wrote I think. It. They wrote it. Okay. Did not like that movie. Sorry, Ethan. Did not I got like a cool movie. lunchbox out of it from Perry. Yeah. Really? I never saw the movie. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like Neither it. Neither did I. Yeah. Did you guys like Hail Caesar? No. Huh. I liked it. I, I liked see it. that either. I liked it. I was really yeah. disappointed. That was one of my yeah. highly anticipated movies for the year. Hey, can you go to the IMDb, guys? Mm. Yeah, I don't know what... Uh, it's for both those guys. What would the premiere going on in Hollywood Boulevard be this week? Macbeth. Macbeth. That's what it is. Oh, fuck. Fun. No They're wonder the traffic around my place has been that. insanity. Yeah. Because a, of what? Lion King premiere. Lion King premiere. It's tonight. Yeah. Are you going? Yeah, taking the the, the daughter. Nice. Oh, that's so cute. Um, do you think they'll have live lions there? I live bet one? No, but maybe mechanical ones. Mm, I mean, they're, they're, I want to. I want to start going to Disney premieres. They put. <laughs> they put. Just I mean, that out there. they blocked yeah. off Hollywood like they do for the Oscars. Right. This is going to be a big premiere. Maybe they do have live lines. If they have live lines, I'll, I'll let you take a blurry picture of it. Oh, you will. Okay. Yeah. You let me? Yeah, I'll let you. Okay. I bet that they have some kind of animals. Yeah, right? Maybe, Maybe. a giraffe. I don't oh, want to see them in cages. Well, you want to see the lion not in the cage? I don't want to see a lion there if it's going to be in a cage. There's no reason to put a but lion you, in the cage. So you want to see a lion not in a cage? I'd rather not That'd see a lion. That'd be fun on Hollywood Boulevard. That's fun. What about little lemurs? They're just hanging around. Yeah. What about pugs and lion outfits? Ooh. Now we're talking. Doing pugs it. are wild. I love pugs. Yeah. <laughs> there was a great pug uh, wine tasting that met Leia, and they were just in that thing. Was, <laughs> I'm telling you, that, that, was, that was a dead on impression of my late duck. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. Roxy um, doesn't like animals or impressions. No, no or they're impressions. fine. No, they're, they're both fine. Would I you like ever impressions. own a dog? Yeah, I did all my life. Uh. Oh. I own two. I had an amazing first dog. She she was the best. Oh my dog. god! You just went so you Massachusetts. Went, yeah. your, oh, your accent good. came out. You didn't hear it. It was it was. Uh, we had a first family dog. Oh. It was. I didn't hear it. But uh, I don't know why well, okay. Did it, you guys hear it in the fucking booth? In the fucking booth. Yeah, His we name did. was yeah. fucking Muggsy. Yeah. Uh, and it was such. Muggsy was your Muggs, dog's name? Muggsy was the best yeah. dog. That was my nickname my uncle really? gave me. Yeah, and Muggsy was amazing. But when Muggsy died, we got Chewy way too soon. Uh, and it was it was always hard. Right. Yeah. He, he You're not live supposed up to, to Chewy did not live up to Muggsy, no. no. And and uh yeah, no. Yeah. No, Chewy got hit by two cars very oh, early whoa. on too. Jeez. Chewy was a runner. Uh, nobody was watching him. No, we had an electric fence oh. and everything. Chewy went barreled right on through. Look at Chewy. What kind so of dog uh, was it? That Chew, Muggsy Pitbull. was a sharp pay, Chewy was a soft coated wheat and terrier. Uh um, close. Um, you should rescue your dogs, people. Let's do a spin-off <laughs> of uh, the Chewy movie. What's uh, what, what's next? Okay. Do you want no a remake? No. Of Look Who's Talking. I don't mind it. I like Look Who's Talking. I don't hate it. Just depends on who, yeah. who it is. I mean, if Willis, if if Willis doesn't have to be on camera and he's just doing voiceover, I don't maybe know, it's not man. bad. Who are they talking to about this? With, it's going to be directed. You? Yeah. yeah. You guys. It's going to be directed by Jeremy Gerlich. 
He, uh, oh, did, I like he directed. Jeremy. Jeremy's yeah. a friend of mine. Yeah, he did the Wedding Ringer. Oh, didn't he come on Schmoes when yeah, I was yeah. on Jeremy, back in the day Jeremy, at After Buzz? Jeremy met, also wrote the the breakup with uh, Jay Lavender. Yeah, I met Jeremy in uh, in acting class, like uh, shit, fifteen years ago. Mm-hmm. And Jeremy, Jeremy's a good guy, man. It's I, shit. I should get, I should reach out. He to was him on. Him. You and I talked to him on Schmoes back you, in the day. You, it was you were me. On, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. He came on. Uh, it was me because it was for the it was for the wedding not wedding planner but the wedding, the one we did with Kevin Ringer. 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 Yeah, which I like that underrated movie. movie. Funny movie. Yeah, uh, 2015. That's when we talked <laughs> yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'll reach back, in I'll reach back out to him. Ago, yeah. yeah, I'll reach back out to him because I'd like to have him back on the show and and talk about this and see what the idea. He's I mean he's he's a child of like. Nostalgia. Yeah, well, we grew up in that time, so he, that's yeah. probably one of the reasons he wants to do it. Probably love that movie and probably thought it could. I, I trust his sensibility. He's a very funny guy. And he's a very talented filmmaker and writer, so uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to hear about it. It depends on who it is. It's a remake or a reboot? It is a remake. Okay. Yeah. This is what they're saying. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. see. Who do you get remake. the voice of the kids? We don't know yet. Yeah. So I mean, he's writing. It's going to be for Screen Gems. What is um, the difference? What is the difference between what you're saying? Remake? They're literally remaking that movie. Reboot? Right. They're rebooting the whole franchise. You're saying? Kind of. Yeah. yeah but so wouldn't they both be different actors? Different? Could be. It depends. Reboot. We've had this conversation a few different times. No, no. Because I've come been, around to this now. Your the, your way of thinking. Well, there's different between a sequel and a reboot, but remake and reboot. But the kind sequel of. can act as a reboot for the franchise. Right. So there's 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 definitely for so some people say Force Awakens is a reboot of the Star Wars franchise. And oh, some, that's such a weird way of phrasing it. I would never phrase it that way. I actually agree with that sentiment. A lot mm-hmm. of people don't it, feel that way too. I think because it was it was dormant for a while. There wasn't it, it, the prequels. Kind of hadn't. It was 2005. Was the last one too? There, the this particular timeline for, uh, was again not happening since uh, 1983. But how do you reboot they, something with the same different characters? Same different, but they're putting in, but they're putting in Luke and those guys too. And yeah. this is this is a different this is a different conversation as far as that because there's other ways Sorry. to to no 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 not you. It's, but it's as you. far as Force Awakens goes, but this particular <laughs> thing, like let's say, uh, look who's talking. If they if they rebooted it, what you could do is that it's. Very similar to what we're talking about, like Goonies. There's always someone's kid, right? Kirstie Alley's kid is now has a baby. But he's saying remake. Yeah, so no, 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 no. This is re- the remake means that they could be doing the whole story over again with with uh, you know a, a new. It's, it's like the, the first one's he's here. Yeah. He's here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, joining she us move here. in the studio now. Jason Muse coming in the house. Hey, Jason, what's up, man? Hi. Come on in. Over here. Yeah, oh, please, okay, please. Sorry. Throw the cans Hi. on you. Sorry, I like spaced out. I didn't realize it was you. Me? Well, I didn't know it was you. Because I'm blonder? Yes, and I just yes. was thrown off by It's been a long time, time, yeah. It's all good, brother. How you doing, man? you here. I mean, I don't know. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Being in multiple studios, I don't know. I'm like oh a gosh. traitor to my own state. I know. I don't know if I could talk with you about this stuff now. <laughs> just kidding. How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good, good to have you in studio. Thank you. Look, we were talking about a couple different things. Obviously, we want to talk to you about the movie. You guys were in together here in Madison, The Method. Uh, um, we're talking about that for sure because what a cast in general yeah. this movie is. Can you tell me a little bit about it as far as the film? Oh, I'm so horrible at explaining That's movies. Fine. I but, didn't do uh, a good job either. I'm not, so. I'm not, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, but I am. It's not even just this movie. It's any movie. It's like yeah, I can't even explain. Uh, I'm horrible at explaining even a Jay and Bob movie, which I'm um, Jay. But um, <laughs> it, it's uh, it's cool because I feel like the best way I can explain. I just which I should sort of practice. Um, articulating the story and what it's about but to me I just explain it's like sort of based on Jason Mewes but in an alternate multiverse uh, like you know <laughs> uh, Earth 9 yeah, if yeah, you yeah. will or Earth 13 because again uh, you know it started by uh, my friend Dominic Burns who produces it uh, I did a movie called Devil's Tower years yeah. and years and years ago and he was like hey man what do you want to do I said why well, uh, be you know Besides what you've been doing with Jay and stuff like that, I said, well, I really want to direct, uh, but I also would like to do like a rogue cop or Hannibal Lecter type character. Like I've never, I never get those offers for independent movies. It's never like, hey, I want you to play the serial killer or the cop who goes down busting down doors and stuff, which I feel like would be fun. So I told him that, and then like a couple months went by, and he um, he wrote, sent me an email saying, hey, I hope you don't mind. I wrote a script. Um, and I took an account what you told me and all that and I hope you like it and I did like it um, And then I was like, but I think what if we do this too? And then he rewrote it and then we went back and forth for a couple months right. to where it is now um, And he sent it back to me. and I was like, oh, this is awesome, man This would be so much fun 
Um, and then I didn't hear from him for like six months. And then all of a sudden he's like, bro, I, I, th I have the money. I got the money. Not only are we going to able to make the movie, but we, I, they want you to direct. They're going to let you direct the movie. So that was awesome. But anyway, um, it's not me playing a road cop or serial killer, but he did add that with the element of it's like Jay Muse, you know, always getting offered the slapsticky funny part. Right. But I want to be taken serious. Um, and in this movie, like I go out for an audition. Um, to play this serious role and the, and the casting director is like hey man we wanted you for the slap sticky snoochy and i'm like no but i could play this um and i sort of get upset about it and i go i'm i'm uh, giving advice to go method uh if i method acting is where it's at and that's how people will take you more serious and all that and so i go to go show this guy i can be serious and then an accident happens and yeah. and i sort of kill him and then there's another killing and another killing so there's some killing and murder and stuff like that so you get to do all that shit um, you wanted to do yeah so yeah there's yeah, sort yeah. of that but not like in such a hannibal lecter way but in a in a fun being able to bring my strengths uh of the the what I've played over the years, the comedy, but with some drama and like Brian O'Halloran is in it. And, and we've got, like That's you awesome. said, a lot yeah. of cool people, uh, jumped on board and I was super stoked about that. Cause we didn't have a lot of money. And, and so I was like, Oh, there's no way we're going to get this person because they're not going to spend two days with us. And, and you know, when they could be doing stuff with their families or other stuff with, for not a lot of money, but they did because, uh, so that was for me, that was flattering. Cause they're like, Oh, Jamie is directing his first movie. Yeah. Like we want to be part of that. So, um, yeah, it's, it was, it was a lot of fun. But again, I, I know that doesn't really tell the story plot of it. Um, I, and I also don't want to give too much right. away. And maybe I already did. But <laughs> uh, No, no, but I thought that's, that's interesting. I that's thought you nailed yeah. that. Yeah. No, but the fact that you, that, I mean, I think what was out is the fact that you get to direct this thing and you have some and you have some fun with it. And then, like you said, you didn't think you were going to get a lot of these people. And then when you did, did you find just, was it, because, you know, you've been hanging with Kevin for so long, too, and watching him and, and, mm. and kind of taking that experience and, and just other directors that you've seen. How much of it did you take, like, when you were when you were doing this, or did you just do your own kind of Jason Mewes style here? Uh, I mean, I think there's a combination. I think definitely from watching Kevin, I feel like I really uh, focused. Uh, like, I did. I do realize, you know what, I, the reason I wanted to start directing is is over the, the years, not on Kevin's as much, but I feel like at, when we're shooting... Um, you know, I'm, I sort of leave it in Kevin's hands because we work together so much and, and he's directed me so many times, but I've noticed myself being like, well, what if I do this? And what about if instead it's, and every once in a while I'll come up with a good idea and he'll be like, that's great. Instead of doing this, we'll do what you just said. And that works so much better. And then when I start doing other movies with other people, independent movies and stuff, they'd be like, well, let's do this and this. And I'm like, well, it doesn't make sense. Can we do this? Yeah. Like, I'm not telling you how to direct, but I think this will work. So I'm just saying I started realizing that I had all these like visual ideas of what should happen and stuff. Um, so I don't want to say I took ideas from people, but I realized just being there and, and experiencing all the different yeah, people's student. vision. Yeah. yeah, like I was, I realized like walking in a room to me. But again, of course, there's so much... Um, there's so many ways to do things too because I'm like you know it's like sometimes when we were shooting in my head I'm like well do we push in on, on us coming through the doorway or do we pull out you know yeah. what makes that what's going to be visually cooler but for me it just seemed more like about like being I don't know it just uh, it's sort of like when I'm in the moment I feel like I'm like oh this will be really cool looking of me and the characters walking into the camera shot instead of following us in with a steady cam or something um, so I don't know I, but I, I would say I took a little bits from Kevin definitely um, and some from some of the other directors, but I, I think just more it's just um, being in the moment. I don't know. I just again, I feel like um, doing stuff and being on the other side of the camera. I almost feel like that to me is how I see it as well. Because I know like Kevin over the years, and he's always talked about it. He doesn't really focus. I mean, and more so as the years went on visually, but he's so focused on the performances of the actors and yeah. stuff. Um, and that's his main, like, what he's like, you know, say it like this or say it better. Like, and, you know, and some people don't take kindly to that, I guess. I always love it. I'm like, Kev, like, tell me how to help me say it because I'll, I'll, a lot of times I'll, like, bring up the ending and I don't realize I'm doing it, but I'll be like, let's go to the store, you know, where <laughs> right, it's supposed right. to be like, let's go to the store. You know what I mean? So um, it that's, yeah, I guess I've just sort of, again, over the years, just the, uh, working with him and everyone else, 
Um, and being on the other side of things. So. Besides getting Roxy in the movie, who was your favorite? Um, <laughs> well, Roxy, your... and Roxy killed it. I'm excited she did it. I'm, I'm bummed. I, the show, well, I guess we'll get into that later because you're doing this show now. But I'm so bummed that other show, uh, but, you know, things happen. Yeah, that's um, <laughs> I'm sure worse things happen to you, and I'm sure you've had stories. Have you been able to tell stories, or do you have, like, a an agreement where you're not allowed to talk about that end of things? Uh, we've I've talked a little bit about it on the one-on-one with Christian. Yeah, but... We've gone over yeah. some things, but, but nothing too much. I know we're not here for that. Right. Yeah. I know. I'm just yeah, curious. So I, I haven't it. seen her. So, yeah. but, but besides Roxy, um, Roxy, that's it. I only yeah. want about now. <laughs> uh, honestly, a lot of great people. Di- and again, I'm horrible at saying names. Uh, like I've, I've, I've. Um, I always mess up his name. David Dave, Delsmoshian. Yeah, I knew yeah, where yeah, you were yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, he's he's been in a amazing. Times he's right. amazing. Yeah. He's such a great, and I, I like. I see him in so many shows that I love, yeah. and I'll be like, oh my god, there he is. There he's in the show. Um, but regardless, and then of course Stanley. Like we got yeah. Stan. Um, and How did that I'm even so, happen? How did you guys get him? Well, I, Small I, rats, though, right? Right? Yeah. yeah well, we right, but was that a phone call or? Well, we called Max again before uh, towards uh, um, before he passed. Like I know towards the end, his there was I'm sure it was in the news and stuff. Like things were going on, but for years he had a person uh, that I, we were really close with Kevin and I uh, and Jordan, my wife at even is uh, Max. This gentleman Max was his like assistant slash handler friend all that stuff but we called up max and i'm like max i know this is way out there and stuff but uh, is there any way like i'm directing my first feature and stan always jokes with kevin um like every time he sees kevin it could literally be like the last 10 years like if he saw him once a month every time he sees him he'll go when you put me in the next movie, Kevin. <laughs> but he never says that to me because I don't make movies. But I'm like, I, you know, I can put him in a movie. Do yeah. you think he'll want to do it, Max? Um, and he asked him, and he's like, dude, he'll totally do it. But he'll do it today. We weren't supposed to start shooting, actually, to like, it was going to be a night shoot. So we were supposed to start shooting at like 6 at night to like 5 in the morning or whatever. Um, um, so everyone like you know had off and they were doing their thing and they weren't planning on coming to work till six right. But I called him in like 11 12 in the afternoon and, and Max is like called me back like an hour later He's like dude, we can do it, but we have to start at, He has to be there and ready to go You have to be ready to go at four o'clock and he has to be out of there by like 530 because he has dinner with his wife Every night at six and he will not miss that that That's day, cool. that was when, so, so sweet. Yes. When you called, it was that yes, day. You had it was to shoot. that day. So we wow. called, and it, I thought it was really cool because we called up the crew. We're like, "Look, we know you're off. Um, you know, you guys weren't supposed to come until six. You might have been up late, all that stuff." But Stan's gonna. Go. I mean, but so everyone was so. so it was cool because I feel like part of them did, of course, a small bit was like, oh, Muse is asking and it's awesome and he's great. But also they're like, Stan's coming. We're going to get to see Stan and meet Stan. So it was really cool. Like the DP and the, the all the people like were like, we'll totally come in three hours early, four hours yeah. early because uh, of this situation. And we were able to pull it together. You know, a few people couldn't show up, but but we were able to work things out. But yeah, yeah. Um, it was really awesome. But yeah, he was super nice about it. And of course, I right away i was like oh that's sweet like he's like dude i don't care like i'll stay there i'll come now and do it for two hours three hours but i have to be home at six to have wife for my dinner yeah i mean right. dinner at my wife <laughs> so, but also wife with your dinner yeah. Yeah. yeah you know that's it. Stuff. so it was really thing. really sweet yeah. but it was cool but it's that was i mean honestly every i didn't really say i want to have a i want to say i have a favorite because again i'm friends with danny trejo um, we've been friends for years, yeah. um, and he we've literally done like six, seven, eight movies together. Again, always indies, and we mm-hmm. might cross paths, not even be on set together. Um, but Danny's amazing. Casper uh, Van Dien's an acquaintance of mine, um, so that was cool. Um, again, everyone, you know, everyone, it was really cool. Everyone, like, jumped on board. And, I, again, Dean Cain and Terry Hatcher, I was that shocked is, dude, that, that was they so were going to cool be in it. So cool. yeah. And, again, it, it stinks because my, it doesn't stink, but they hadn't worked to get in the same TV or movie or anything as, as since Lois, Lois and Clark. Yeah. Yeah. 
um, and I was so excited. They were in our my movie it was the first movie they worked in the same uh, on the same well, project. Well, Roxy told me up top when we were reading yeah. up the names, and I'm going, "Oh shit, he got them back together." It's really awesome. Yeah, but then, then later they were, they were in Supergirl. Supergirl. Yeah. Yes. Right, right, right. So and the Supergirl aired first, of course. Best we of... shot them first. Now you got it. Then. But yeah. yeah, you know, it's true. Yeah, yeah, we can do. We can do. <laughs> so that was very exciting. It was. It was really cool to get them. And again, everybody, everybody that jumped on board, no one got paid. Uh, a bunch of uh, O'Halloran came all the way up to London and shot there, and he was great. Again, yeah. I worked with with O'Halloran. I've known him for years, worked with him so many times. But again, he's always playing Dante, the smart mouth, and it, he other, plays other things. But I never saw him play anything else. Uh. But he was amazing in my movie. Like again, when you see it. Um, you'll see like what goes down and he was like I got like uncomfortable even because he started crying and like really got into it that I was like do I need to give him a minute is he alright <laughs> right, right. like, really I, I was like I was blown away he was O'Hara was awesome um, it was again Tim it, just overall it was it was really really nice all the people who jumped on board mm -hmm. um, and came out and was part of it I'm so excited things are happening now it'll be out August 2nd August on VOD uh, yeah. and okay. on theaters we're going to Comic Con which is a oh, really great. big deal yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean I, um, uh, I guess I should have asked this I, I at this point I know they were working on trying to uh, maybe screen it but I know that I believe there's gonna be at least a trailer I don't know if we can uh, I don't know if you have information there we, or something on, my, on a trailer I call me Con. Oh. What's going to happen there? Yeah. Do you know? I I do. Thank you. Will you tell I, me? I don't know if I can. Yeah, I believe we're allowed to spill the beans, right? I mean, I don't know. Well, well maybe not. <laughs> Should we I'll ask somebody in the booth? Yeah, 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 yeah. Connor, Connor's yeah. in there. So if we have Connor, a... can you hear us? If they, can they hear yeah. us? They can, yeah. 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 But behind yeah. this is yeah. actually the a booth. wall. A wall. It's, the... it's a whole uh, concrete uh, wall. But then there's a booth on booth the other side. Booth on the side. Cody, can we get an answer? Are they allowed to peek in? So what is this? I'm here, and I don't even know what's going on. You're live. You're live. Connor, you're there? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, cool. This is awesome. Hi, yeah. guys. I'm on TV. Hey, what's up? So can we can we allowed to spill any beans that Jay wants to spill here? About San Diego? To, oh, there is information to come about oh, okay. all things. Okay, okay, okay. So, so yeah, so that I don't okay. know. So okay. do, ignore everything I said because I really don't know. <laughs> right. Again, it's it sounds horrible, but I, I've been we've been so busy and, and, and uh, things like sort of got uh, pushed for a bit. Uh, for the movie because of uh, some of the editors and stuff in London and, and things happened. So it sort of got pushed for a bit. Um, and I sort of just been leaving it into the smarter people's hands with the, the post-production part of things. Well, it's a different um, genius. You know, You're on yeah. the creative side of yeah. things. Yeah. So I don't know, like, again, when they were selling and, and when it's going to be aired and screened and things and all that. So I've sort of just been leaving it because, again, it's and, and again, it's for me, it's almost it's great because I. I I stay ignorant to it, even though I, maybe I shouldn't. But then it's exciting to me when they're like, hey, guess what? We're going to be doing this, this, and this. And we're going to screen it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm like, ooh, like I get to find out at the same time. Just like with Jay and Bob reboot, you know. Well, that's why that's, I, uh, I got to talk to you about that. Because... Yeah. No, we're not here for that. Right? No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, no, even well that, played, though, well even played. that movie, like I, you know, it's like I don't. Uh, you know, I know that they're like, just leave it. They're going to explain when it'll be out. But I know it'll be by the end of the year. I yeah. just don't know when. Um, you I'm really don't so know? I'm so excited. I don't know. I don't know. They haven't told me an exact date. I just know it's going to be by the end of the year. I do yeah. know that. Um, and I know that I believe... Um, and again, maybe I don't know if I'm allowed to say, uh, but <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've been really careful with that because yeah. I'm so terrified of Kevin getting yeah. upset because yeah. he got upset with me. And let me explain this. I was uh, doing, I, I've been doing my own stand up stuff now. It's not stand up comedy, it's sort of storytelling. It's called Jay Muse and His Amusing Stories. And I've been touring with it for uh, eight, nine months now. It's awesome. I love it. But I got to do the comedy festival in New York and yeah. go to the Carolines. Yeah. So I performed there and I came outside. We hadn't shot the movie yet, um, but we had just found out we were going to be shooting in New Orleans in uh, the end of January in New Orleans. Now, Kevin and I have been doing our podcast, and on the tour with the podcast, Kevin would be like, hey, in a few months, we're going to start shooting Jay and Saul Bob Reboot. So I knew he had mentioned it over and over and over, so I just thought, like, oh, we can mention it. So I came out of the theater, and TMZ, they never talked to me because I'm not anybody. So TMZ <laughs> happened to be outside of the Carolines. Sometimes that's a good thing. <laughs> and the dude, yeah, and the dude's like, hey, Jay Muse, you know, you're at the Carolines doing him. But then he's like, hey, what about, uh, you know, I heard Jay and Silent Bob reboot, a sequel's coming out. I said, yeah, man, I'm so excited. We just found out we're going to be going to New Orleans in a few months, uh, hopefully by the end of January. That's all I said. Yeah. I thought it was okay. I swear, like, 
I and, that, and even I said it to TMZ, even if they do catch me, usually it doesn't go anywhere. But they had to post it or put it up on their website and stuff. And I swear, like an hour later, my wife, who uh, produced the movie and yeah. manages Kevin, and she, yeah. she's a badass yeah. too. So, so Jordan. yeah. So her, her, and Kevin both text me. What the hell, dude? What'd you say on TMZ? I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, you said you said something about the movie coming out in New Orleans, and then at the end of January. I'm like, well, you talk about it all the time. He goes, yeah, but we never mentioned when and where. And I'm like, oh wait, you're right. Uh, so sure. anyway, yeah. I, and again, it wasn't that big. Of a deal, but so I'm just be a little saying, more careful. It was more yeah. like he was like, we wanted to announce that. Kevin right, right. wanted to announce it, and the the people who are gonna be doing it. Well, what know. can you say? Can you talk, talk about with the movie? If you're, I can tell you this. Yeah. I'm amazing. <laughs> no, I'm just okay, kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I, I don't know what I can more, say. There's it's more a lot of fun. Now, I right. can say that. Yeah. Well, and Kevin's posted a bunch of people that are involved. Right. I mean, the one person I was really afraid to say, but I guess he posted himself. You know, Chris Hemsworth's in it. Yeah. Which was really cool when Kevin told me that and. Beginning when we first started shooting, he's like, "Guess who's going to be in the movie?" I'm like, "No way!" Um, How was and he working was excited. with him? I didn't get to work with him, of course, because <laughs> I was. We were shooting. They shot that somewhere else, and I was out of town. There, was someone else too that I was excited that was in the movie. This person I know that no people don't know about yet, so I don't want to mention him. But there was another George person. Clooney. Yes. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there was another person in the movie, um, and and I wasn't able to. Of course, all the you know. But there. But while we were shooting in New Orleans, and the people that are in it, uh, I know Shannon Elizabeth. Uh, we know about that. Justice was yeah. in it. It was really fun. It was fun. Dave, uh, David. David. Yeah. Thank you. I got you. And he's in Dune, too. Oh, yeah. Dude. I mean, he's awesome. He's and blowing he, up. Yeah. Yeah. He had so much fun. I had so much fun with him, too. And and uh, and he's just such a great dude because he's like, like, I watch him in so many shows, and I think he's amazing. And he's like, no, no, I'm, I'm so glad you let me be part of this movie. I'm like, no, 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 you're awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. He's like, no, 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 no thank sweet you. Dude. He's such he's a sweet dude. And he geeks out, and just he's definitely, like, he's one of us. He does that. He just, he, a lot of this stuff, when he came in, he's been here twice. And we were talking about Dune because everyone was really freaking out about that one. But you're right. He's just got that air about him of just, he just wants to be there. He's happy to be yeah. there. He wants to work. He wants to create. It's, it was, totally. it's cool to have a guy like that. And he's got a new kid. Like his kids yeah. are a similar age of, of my kids. So we were able, you know. So that's always that's always awesome. Sorry. Um, so who? What's who's the. Uh, in the charge, boss. the boss. Mm -hmm. He seems to be doing most of the talking. Are you guys the side runners? And are you guys on every show, or yes. is this just sometimes? Such a great so, question. That's a great question. So, <laughs> so my the show. That I'm curious as well. Let's you get guys, down to it. you and Kevin, are supposed to come on my old show, Schmoes. No, uh, about four years ago. Just felt what happened? They did you? No, things. Kevin had to go back home for a little bit. Uh, Kevin and I. Kevin came in not too long ago. We had a conversation about it. Anyway, so that was a show I did called Schmoes. No, we did it once a week. Then I started working here, um, and then they asked me if I could do. A version of that show here, so like Collider. Collider. So, and instead, what we did instead of doing once a week, we turned it into kind of a radio show like this mm -hmm. every morning. And so, I'm the host of the show from Monday through Friday. Roxy's on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Josh is on pretty much every day. Every day. Yeah. So, yeah. and that's kind of and that's kind of the crowd. awesome. Yeah. yeah. And did you get Roxy from Roxy and I met during the uh, during the After Buzz days because when when, when wow, I was on yeah. Schmoes, when it, yeah. Roxy was in the same building and. Like she was the East Coast girl, girl. Oh, well. and then she came on and filled uh, in. I, mean, yeah. I thought maybe you saw her in this awesome movie, and and you were like, she's got to be a part of the show. No, it, I mean it went the other way. You saw me hosting, and then That's put true. me in the That's movie. That's crazy, yeah. That show, yeah. That's so freaking cool. <laughs> Have you spoken uh, last question about the other thing? But do you talk to the other gentleman who was on that show? Or you, no. Mm -mm. All right. Why do you? Fair enough. I don't. I don't talk to anybody there. But anyway. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, the well, one I that hosted it. with us? Yes, Joe. Yes, yes Joe, all the time. Sorry, Joe Starr. Yeah. Joe Starr. Yeah. That's what I thought. I thought you guys yeah, yeah, were yeah. friends. Friends. No, sorry. he's awesome. And I'm over there at Screen Junkie still. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Uh, well, I, just, <laughs> I love how inquisitive you always are. I today. love it. Well, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know what's going on with them. I didn't even know Screen Junkies. Like, I didn't know that. It's fan. I'll tell you all about it later. Yeah. Think. Well, you know, I yeah, I got bungled, but anyway. I love your hat. <laughs> um, I don't want to. I, I got to. They, they red lighting us. I just got to ask you one question about mall rats, dude. It's my, oh, please it's, do. It's, it's just my, it's my favorite. It's my favorite it's, one. Is, is it really? It uh. really is. It, well, it's, I, it's my favorite. Uh, when we did Clerks, it was like 
it'd be like if us four right now were like, hey, let's go make a, a movie right, right. now. Yeah. And it would still be fun and awesome, but I'm just saying it would seem like a bunch of buddies or acquaintances now yeah. doing it. But so Clerks, I went back to roofing and did my job. Kevin went and edited and went to Sundance, and I was roofing, uh, putting roofs on houses, yeah, yeah. hanging out with my friends and stuff. So I'm just saying it was fun, but it didn't seem like we did anything. Um, but mole rats, like all of a sudden, I'm like, you know, 20 years old, 19, 20 years old, and they're, I'm going to Minnesota for the first time, staying in a hotel for a month. They gave me per diem, and then like I'm meeting right. Stan Lee, and right. I got to meet, hang out with Jason Lee. It was just such a surreal, it really was so surreal to me as a 20 year old, 19, 20 year old growing up in Highlands. Never left. I went to New York like, two or three times in my life at that point. Never left New Jersey, literally. Um, and all of a sudden, I'm like in a hotel in Minnesota. Not that Minnesota's like glamorous, but it still was it's like I'm Jersey. in a hotel yeah. out of New Jersey and, and it, for like two months, running around a mall, dressing in costumes and stuff. It was such a fun, fun, surreal experience. Yeah. It really was. I and, was living in Florida at the time, and from New York also, but I was, and I and I was there, the movie came out, and because I was such a big Clerks fan, I wanted to go see it. I saw the movie three days in a row. I went, wow. I went awesome. every day and saw the movie, and I, I, it was, and I saw you and Kevin at the Arclight, this is probably like four or five years ago, and you guys were walking up there, and you were about to get your concessions, I'm like, it's fucking Mall Rats, I'm gonna, I don't know what you guys ordered, I was ready to get, just buy the food from Mall Rats, and you guys like left. I was like, I was, like, I was just wanted to do this for, for, for Mall Rats, I yeah. love that movie so much the Steve awesome. Dave all that shit yeah. it was just but it was one of those things you're just hanging out with your buddies though too yeah. and in that experience you, you've been able to do that and stay connected like again with that's that's such a rare thing to be able to you're growing up with Kevin you know learn, and then staying connected all the way through yeah. this it's, no it's it's been awesome again it, and again it wasn't something I planned like even after we shot Clerks it's like I went back to roofing and then we did Mall Rats um, you know, and then even after Mall Rats, really, it's like we did spend a lot of time together, but then um, I went, I did go to Vancouver and shot this indie movie. And and that was sort of when I was like, well, maybe I can do this. I did Clerk, a little indie movie, Clerks. Now we did Mall Rats. Now I just did another movie uh, called Drawing Flies. It was called uh, This Good Gentleman, Malcolm Ingram. But uh, we did it like right after Mall Rats. Uh, but then and then we'd go back home and I wanted to see Kevin for weeks and stuff because he'd be editing and doing this and doing that. Um, and then he's like, I wrote you in another movie, you know, which was Chasing Amy. Yeah. But again, we were only in one scene at that, you know, right. so um, it, it's it's been awesome. But I do feel like our, our friendship luckily has been uh, I feel like in being able to work together is because there's no ego involved uh, uh, I feel like for the two of us with each other I feel like when I hear and maybe I'm wrong but I feel like bands you're like why did they break up they're amazing but it's because they all fought about stuff right. and they're all this money this or you know whatever luckily like there's none of that with us it's like I don't know well, when um, you go so back to I Jersey like can, I mean it's got to be like Mick Jagger going back with the stones um, I I, can, I don't know if it's Mick Jagger, but <laughs> it's it's interesting. Even back in the day, like even after Mallrats and and uh, like we, I went away f to do Mallrats for two months, and then when I, like I said, I went to Vancouver, and at that point, Mallrats had like come out, and not everybody had seen it in the theater or anything. It wasn't like huge success or anything, but um, it didn't. I feel like it really didn't hit off till it came on DVD. Yeah. But regardless, when I came home, some people knew I did a couple movies, and it's so funny because people are like, "How many houses are you gonna buy, bro? Like, how many cars?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Bro, I made like after taxes and stuff, I made about six grand, you know." <laughs> and then the, the other two, it, like clerks, Kevin. We didn't make any money, so Kevin sold it, and then he was able to like pay all the credit cards back and all right, that, right. and then throw everyone a little bit of something, yeah. which was a couple thousand bucks. So it's funny, I just taught, did this in my stand-up show because I was explaining, like, literally, um, I did Clerks, Mallrats, Chasing Amy, uh, Drawing Flies. So I literally had done four movies in a span of, like, four years. And it's funny because people are like, you're in four movies, you must be have so much money and stuff. I'm like, bro, literally it was, like, two grand for Clerks, seven, eight grand, well, let's say eight grand for Mallrats. Chasing Amy, sorry, uh, Drawing Flies was like, I think I got five grand. And then uh, Chasing Amy after taxes was about seven grand. Yeah. So in about four or five years, I maybe made 
for 20 grand <laughs> yeah. or something like that and i'm like bro it's, you i'm not i'm not buying houses for 20 grand <laughs> yeah. in a four year period yeah. you know what i mean it really was it's true though yeah. it really was the case and it's like people don't realize that and even now even people i'll go back and they'll be like oh my god bro you must have the nicest house and all that and i'm like no it's it's decent but <laughs> it's like you know right. it's literally not just from the movies either yeah, especially it's like, living out luckily here luckily it's yeah. like and yeah, yeah and it's like you know luckily there's a little bit of everything and again all that has been honestly because my wife and kevin like the podcasting the stand-up right you know this this and this because just the movie is like right you know, I feel like you don't get that way until you start doing Avengers movies. Then you could be like, I bought four houses. <laughs> 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 but you started, the, the, listen, once again, guys, uh, Jason Mewes making his directorial debut, Madness Woo! in the Method. It releases August 2nd. Yes. Uh, VOD and theater, so make sure you check it out. Jason, thank you very much for joining us, man. you got to come thank back you, for sure. Sir. I'd like to have you back. Thank you. Uh, all right, so when we come back from break, we're going to take some phone calls from you guys. Cody will flash that number. See you after the break. Hey guys, Riley here, and let me tell you about Rule of Two. You looking for a Star Wars fix? Well, Rule of Two is that show. It drops on Collider Video's main YouTube channel, as well as on Podcast One's Jedi Council feed. So go over there, subscribe, share it with your friends. It's hosted by myself and Mark Fernandez. We talk everything in the Star Wars universe with a lot of deep dives and a lot of conversations that go all in. You know what to do. Subscribe, join us there, and rise. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Mailbag. A new episode drops every Saturday and Sunday in your face and in your ears, answering the questions from you fans about the world of entertainment, film, and television. Me and great guests from our sphere do the best to answer your questions from Twitter, from Instagram, and of course, email as well, every Saturday and Sunday. Hi, I'm Koi Jandro, host of Collider Heroes, and I'm here to tell you we've got 20-minute episodes coming at you on Collider Video, on the YouTube, as you've always loved it. Plus, now we've got hour-long podcasts dropping every Thursday, so make sure to subscribe to the podcast because it's going to get even more sweaty on the podcast. Plus, every week we're going to try to get some very special guest interviews, all of the people that help shape these movies and TV shows you love. So, video, podcast, interviews all coming at you. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Stay sweaty. Hey guys, Perry Nemirov here to let you know that The Witching Hour is all over Collider right now. You can listen to that horror-filled podcast with myself, with Haley Fouch. We talk about witchiness, we talk about slashers, we talk about space horror, you name it, all on that show on the Collider Factory feed. We also have clips on the Collider Podcast YouTube channel. And on top of that, you can find an article all about Witching Hour every single Tuesday on Collider.com. Check it out, get scared. Hopefully you survive the witching hour. What's up Collider fans? Ryan Satin here from ProWrestlingSheet.com where you can find the top stories throughout the week in the world of professional wrestling. If you're a wrestling fan like myself, then you'd be doing yourself a disservice by not checking out all the shows we do every week on YouTube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. In particular, on Wednesdays, we've got a SmackDown recap show hosted by John Roca and myself where we pick apart and, and talk about every little thing that happened on the blue brand. So do yourself a favor and go subscribe at youtube.com slash C slash wrestling sheet. Hey guys, Perry here to let you know about the new edition of Collider Movie Talk. We are going to five days a week. We have a short, sweet 20 minute show where we focus on the two biggest stories of the day. You can expect to see all of your favorite Collider personalities on the show, including Jeff Snyder, John Roca, Haley Fouch. You're getting Josh McCuga every Friday. We are gonna have a blast. It's gonna be informative, fun, come join us. 3 p.m. PT live every single day of the week right here on the Collider Video YouTube channel. You can also find the show on the Collider Movie Talk feed on our podcast network. So go watch, go listen, however you prefer to get all of your movie news. Hey everyone, John Roca here, the host of Collider Sports Time. Well, you know, if you've been watching us every week, you know we break down the latest and the greatest in the world of sports, talk about the big issues, the big games, all of it with a rotating band of guests like Matt Nose and Josh McCuga. We've had Taylor Bashotti on. We've had so many great guests. Now, if you want to see more of Sports Time or you want to try it out for the first time, remember to subscribe to Collider Sports YouTube channel. And if you want to take us along with you in your ears, you can go and subscribe to the Collider Sports podcast feed for all the sports goodness. 
Hey guys, it's Riley here. Let me tell you about the Riley Roundtable. You know it, right? It drops every Thursday on Collider Conversations, and I have guests from all across the space. John Roca, Gray Drake, Alexander Desplat came on at one point. We talk everything from movies, we talk about life, and everything in between. What do you want to hear? What do you want to talk about? It's the Riley Roundtable every Thursday on Collider Conversations. You get it there. Hello, how are you guys doing? I'm Christian Harloff. I'm the host of Collider Jedi Council. We talk about everything Star Wars, and if you want to catch our weekly show where we talk about the latest and greatest in Star Wars, it's movie news, it's canon, it's all of it. We take questions from you guys. How do you do it? Main channel, that's right, right here. Subscribe to this channel and you can listen, you can watch, you can do all of it, but if you want to just listen to it, you got the podcast feed too. Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, whatever it is, you can listen to it in your car. Do all of it. It's Star Wars, episode nine's coming out, and then after episode so now you got TV shows, so we're going to be your sports center for Star Wars. Do it. Come on. Be real. Amazing. Why are we... I, I'm, I'm not going to... Don't oh. question it. I love that we're don't. playing this, but is there something... You going probably on? don't. Oh. No, mm. it's not Stranger Things. It's a never ending story. But what, what, uh, what? Yeah, it is, is never ending story. Is something going on with never ending story? He's just playing it because he's great. He's playing it. Just felt like playing okay, it. Okay. Yeah. I was, because you know, sometimes you play it to where there's like a story, and I thought maybe because Peter Jackson at one point was rumored to have. Um, Do you love never ending story? Yeah. The Me first too. one. I like it a lot. For sure. The other ones I don't classic. acknowledge. Yeah. yeah, I think that's like Major League Two, Caddyshack yeah. Two, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You, he was Move great, forward. by the way. He was great, Ooh. Jason. Jay. Oh, Jason. He's, he's the best. I love him so much. He, is, he gives no fucks. He can't. He has no <laughs> filter, and and lo, it's great about no, him. I love it. It's he, really, um, although it gets him in trouble, I guess. He yeah. he does. He sounds a lot like my buddies from college that are from that part of Jersey, yeah. and like that South Philly kind of area. He's got that you know certain accent that you can definitely pick up. Yeah. But he definitely, and he also has the same attitude as those dudes too. I, you know? I that's why I always responded awesome. to those movies because they always reminded me of people that I kind of grew up with. Dude, you know? Mall Rats was my mall. And was I love awesome. how much Kevin loves Jay, too. Like, they're oh, yeah. such a... The brothers. Yeah, but it's such, like, a little motley crew. Like, yeah. it's an odd pairing, but yeah. they are just... No, he's, taking, he's, taking, he's taking care of Jay, and Jay's taking care of him as yeah. far as, like, what he's... It's, it's, they have really... They have that relationship, and they, they play off it in the movies, you know? So that's why you couldn't get a lot out of him with, with the reboot, you know? Because I didn't. I, I also didn't want to get him in trouble, because you asked him the, the, a lot of questions. He probably would have given us the whole plot. And then, 100%. Yeah. 100%. I, remember, I remember being on the bus in, like, 7th or 8th grade. My buddy Dan Kramer was like, you got to see this movie, Clerks. Oh, yeah. It's fucking crazy. So I'm watching it in the basement. I, like, rented the VHS at our local blockbuster. Or maybe I don't even know if Blockbuster had it. I think I had to go to like a, you know, a home video wherever, place, kind yeah. of wherever it was. Got it. My dad comes in from work and he hears like the amount of swearing. He's like, "What are you watching?" Mm -hmm. Then he sat down. He's like, "This is pretty freaking funny." Yeah. Don't tell your mother you're watching it. And then Mallrats came out. I was like, "Dad, this is from the same guy that did Clerks." And we sat and watched Mallrats. And he's like, "All right, this is pretty." Good. You're like, my even my dad enjoyed those movies. This is Mall, pretty funny. Yeah. I, I was a Dogma girl. I love yeah. Dogma. I'm yeah. not taking anything away from Dogma because yeah. Dogma's number two. Yeah. And that the airport scene yeah. when when Ben Affleck and Matt. Damon come through that airport. That's at the Pittsburgh airport. Oh, is it? And okay. when they came into town, it was right after Goodwill Hunting, and they were like the biggest yeah, things yeah. in the world. And like all the girls from my high school went to the airport to try and see Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. Yeah, because yeah. I remember, like I was telling him when I saw I saw that movie because because of Clerks, I had seen yeah. Clerks at like the Dollar Theater. Yeah, because I heard so much stuff about it and really liked it a lot. And then saw Mallrats because of exactly totally. what you said. It's like that's the guy who did Clerks. I had Mallrats on VHS. I felt like I had the way people see superhero movies and feel about like yeah. that's how I felt when I saw Mallrats. Yeah, like I got because I thought Brody, so cool. the character of Brody, was so great. The comedy was so he was mm -hmm. a, the exact type of character I was looking for in movies. In Jason general. Lee, it's and just ja and Jason Lee, it was not Jason Lee, but the uh, the one who plays his, his, his friend, best friend, his best uh, friend. Jeremy, uh, yeah, the yeah. guy from uh, from Days of Confused. Uh, not the, oh, you yeah, know, that was his brother, Jeremy London. Jeremy London, his, Jeremy, the Jason London is Jason, Jason London, London. Mallrats. I think it's the opposite. I always get this. Oh. Yeah, it's hard. I, I think yeah. we have a device that could show us. Yeah, I do. I think that Jason. I don't think that Jason. London, what is this witchcraft? Yeah, I think his brother was the one that was in Mallrats, but I don't think he, because I think Jeremy was dazed and confused, and he was the better actor. Okay. Yeah, because Jason's not great in the movie, but I still like him a lot in it. He's like one of those guys. Just you could tell. I mean, you know, who's great in that movie is uh, is. Ben Affleck. Not not just Ben Affleck. Shannon uh, Doherty. Not just Shannon Doherty. Michael Rooker. Michael oh, Rooker is great. Michael Rooker. Right. Yeah, are you yeah. kidding me? He plays the dad, and they give him the the, pre the, the, the stink palm. Stink palm. Yeah, yeah so good. It is Jeremy London, you are correct. Yeah, because I remember that because I was a big Days and Confused guy, and when I saw him, I was like, oh, that's a guy from Days and Confused. And I was like, oh, wait, he's not, why isn't he acting as good as he did in Days and Confused? This is his brother. And my God, Claire Forlani in that movie. <sighs> so is just she can't. She tries to lose her accent. Yeah. She doesn't really do it, no. though. 
but I didn't give a shit. I love that movie. So it, all the little imperfections actually make it great. Mm-hmm. And there's so many like ongoing jokes, the sailboat joke, and all this. I, I love that. Yeah. I fucking love that movie. That's why if we get, get Kevin in here. I gotta have him on for like two hours. Yeah, Kevin. Yeah, we need him for like two because Kevin's great. My favorite interview that I, I've ever heard him do was on Joe Rogan. It was so good. What and do you? Just, He's so great at doing interviews because he does them so often. He knows what to give yeah. also because he's conducting them as often as he he's to doing them. Yeah, he likes to he's talk. He's really great. Yeah, uh, he's very open, very honest, and, and he's one of my favorite people out here too. So uh, anyway, that was really cool to be able to talk to Jay about his movies. Go check that out. Uh, we don't really have anything else to talk about news-wise, anything breaking or anything? Uh, you know, there's yeah. some breaking news, but you know, what nothing to really tell. Yeah, yeah, nothing. Oh, not really. Right. Wait, we can look at it. What do you mean? There's some breaking news, nothing. I'm yeah, going to pull it up right now. You jagweed. You ready for this? You the other day? I can't remember. I wrote it down and I ripped it up. Oh, I'm so bummed about so it. Good. That's what's happening here I wish now. we would have recorded it on the air. Some good oh, wait, news we did. That, that uh, happened already. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> what, was it? what was it? Cool. We've got we've got some, some good news that, that uh, happened already. Yeah, <laughs> some, some good, good news, news that happened, happened already. already. That is my brain going is, in is reverse. Some good news that Warner happened Media <laughs> streaming service dubbed HBO Max is set to launch spring 2020. Wow, and jumping they're, off they're HBO. taking Get friends the with it. They're taking friends with it. Hey, oh, interesting. Yeah, why so not? that's what just broke. Friends to leave Netflix. Yeah, for, all right. Well, I mean, that's 2020. Everybody's gonna have a fucking streaming service. Yeah, yeah. it's really kind of like yeah. right. What do you? How do you guys feel about HBO Max? To well, the max. C- well, Cinemax owns it. I mean, mm-hmm. HBO owns Cinemax, which is owned by CBS, which so you is just get everything. Warner. Right? Yep. That's, yeah, yeah, but it's just interesting that Warner Brothers decided to have their streaming service called be HBO called max. HBO Anything. Right. It would include uh, HBO as well as programming from Warner Brothers, New Line, DC Entertainment, CNN, TNT, TBS, True TV, The CW, yeah. Turner Classic, Cartoon Network, Don't uh, Swim, Crunchyroll, Rooster. I'll tell you why I think this makes sense as to why you call it that. Mm-hmm. HBO was, like, when we talked about it the other day, we thought the biggest streaming services were everybody in this room agreed that Netflix was number one, with HBO, HBO was number two. two. HBO's name is huge, it's been around for so long. But now, what do you do with HBO streaming service? You, just combine it. you combine it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I agree. I think yeah. you have to. I yeah. don't think you can have an HBO now and an HBO Max. I mean, it'd be stupid if you. I mean, who? You, I guess you could still leave it if you wanted to, but it's like, why am I going to pay like twelve bucks a month for HBO? Just go, go when I could pay twelve or fifteen to get everything, plus all the new, the new shit that they do. So it is so strange that they launched the DC app. That is so strange. They just were not thinking. Mm. I guess, or maybe this deal wasn't even in place with HBO. Yeah, but just strange. Yeah, strange when you see that Disney's at launching one that you guys decide to do DC. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't I like it. it. I don't. I like the app. Don't get me wrong. Look what else is on there. What's that? In West Fresh Philadelphia, Prince. born Fre- oh, and raised. Fresh what's what's that? They include all episodes of Fresh Prince. That's awesome. My life got I didn't realize that they own that. And I'd like to take a minute. Yeah, this guy, and then it's all original programming. Do you guys know everywhere right? to the song? Of course. But it's original programming too? What is yeah. it? The, yeah, it is. Yeah. HBO? Yeah. The, yeah. Well, no, not just HBO. HBO but like Max, the, yes. But like, just like the, the other Warner stuff, and like totally. if they want to come up with brand new things that Warner wants to. That's, okay, that's awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, well, that's a good story, Riley. Thanks for uh, some breaking news. I'm still waiting for the announcement of. A, of a Harry Potter something. I know. Yeah. I don't know why they don't Gotta do be. that. Something. They have to. Why not? But if but we skin, got Fantastic Beasts. Well, you know what the difference is? The Ron though, Weasley is, stories. But this is one of those things, too, to where if you when you look at people say, well, Marvel did Marvel and they did and they did Star Wars series. Marvel's also making billions of dollars with every movie that they're putting out right now, right? So they have this money that they can spend to make all these series and recruit all this big talent that, that they have Tom Hiddleston and all these people to be in the series and that you don't want to get like a Harry Potter thing. series right and then it's just all spin off characters that you don't know who they are there's no stars mm-hmm. but if they could get if they could get the money if they can find the money to bring back Daniel Radcliffe and uh, Emma what, what's I always say Emma Thompson but it's yeah it's Watson and then I don't know what Ron Weasley has been doing lately but you bring him back too you bring that whole Roofing. crew back to do the, the Cursed Child right as a as a Series limited series, the play, that not a bad crush. idea. Yeah, oh, would crush, destroy. Yeah, I completely agree. But I mean, she's gonna make a Harry Potter movie. She has said no. It's gonna be a movie sooner or later, like they did with Star Wars. It's gonna be Wait, ten years, but twenty I don't years them, later. But I don't want them to do what they did with. Even though I don't mind Fantastic Beasts, like everyone else hates it because I don't want them to do what they <clears> did. They just write the scripts just to get the movies out. Right. They had books and they, or do what Hobbit did and made three movies out of one book. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's like it's just because it, that to me. 
and I, even though I take umbrage in the fact that it is always it is uh, everything's a cash grab. Mm-hmm. Everything is a cash grab. No matter what you what you make, whether it's good or bad, everything is a cash grab. You're trying to make money, but when you are just splitting up one book to make three movies, you you really push right. it. You're pushing it. Like the Hobbit could have been two movies. And we You're draining water from a rock on that one. Really but Roxy are. said that Daniel Radcliffe said he will never do Harry Potter again. He did. He's just said no. I don't know about never again, right. but he's said no. Right. That he's not doing it. Until another, no. you know, another boat of I think money shows, shows he, up. Uh, of all of the people that we've seen have a hard time break away from a character, he has not been able to do it yet. And no, he's I think, doing a lot of smaller roles to try to do it. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's doing good. the Robert Pattinson right now where he's trying to take mm-hmm. these indies and he's trying to then find a way. He also, I went and saw him in, on Broadway in Equus and then after that he was in a, another Broadway show as well. He's been really Swiss working. Swiss Army Man was good. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. He's yeah, horns. those are the kind of I things that, horns. Horns the terrible. kind of thing he's trying to do, but there's not a person on the planet who looks at him and sees that <laughs> right, he doesn't not. see Harry Potter. Yeah. So I think that that's why if he goes, he's done all this effort to get away from that. If he just did it again, I think he'd be pretty much cementing, no, you're, I'm Harry yeah, Potter. You're, I mean, you're right, but it's also one of those things, too, if he does enough the indep- independent stuff and, and he's able to, and he can't get the bigger roles, uh, then it's like, look, man, he's still, for... And he's going to be getting paid for Harry Potter for the rest of his life. Yeah. Why not continue to get paid for it more? I love his guest appearance on the show Extras. Do you remember that episode? Oh, I don't that's no. right. Yeah, he he like, was great. He had a condom in his pocket that was out of the wrapper. It's, I mean, it was a very, very funny episode. Ricky Gervais, that, <laughs> that show is criminally underrated, yeah. his Extras. Yeah. Yeah. I hear good things about it. I just don't think I've ever yeah, seen I mean, a single frame it. of it. It's yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I introduced the wife to Party Down last night. You ever seen Party Down? I've heard of it. Oh, man. Good. Stuff. Oh, one of the greatest shows ever made. She like it? She loves it. Okay. Good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Adam Scott, Ken Marino, Jane Lynch. I mean, yeah. it's an, an incredible cast. There's a Gutenberg episode in the show that's just the Goots. Goot. Nice. Uh, the let's goots. open up those phone lines, Cody, if <laughs> He's you can. Tucci of the Goots. Thank you. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Hello, this is Ryan from Geraldton, Ontario. Hello, oh, Ryan. 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 Canadian. What do, you, right. what do you got for us today, my man? Well, you're, you're all on hype for that Dark Crystal it's a prequel on Netflix, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Sure. Well, my question is, uh, regarding the man himself, Jim Henson, or the company in general, what was your introduction to Henson, like through Muppets or whatever? Great question. Good Thank question. you so much. Uh, Muppet, Muppet Show, Muppet yeah, show was Mu- a staple for me. The Muppet Show was the one. That, for, I, I loved Animal. Animal was my favorite. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, that was the one for sure, the Muppet movie. Muppet yeah. movie, Muppets Take Manhattan was a was huge a one, one for but me. Dark Crystal and then Labyrinth. I f- mm-hmm. oh. So Labyrinth, uh, I think Labyrinth was my first real like, holy cow, this is amazing yeah. kind of a thing. Was Fraggle Rock a Jim Henson mm-hmm. thing? Yeah, yeah. Fraggle, Fraggle Rock, Rock was my jam. Yeah, yeah. that was probably like my biggest. Because right. I bam, love bam, Fraggle bam, Rock, bam, 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 but also the Muppet Babies cartoon what, on Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah. Going Pee Wee's Playhouse. Always with the when he was Indiana Jones, he's running yes. out from the. I think that. it's from Fraggle Rock. My nickname from my family was Gramunda because there was a Grungetta in there, which is my brother's name, Jet. Oh, they I'm always called that. me Gramunda because <laughs> <Grimunda>. yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I had a lot of really attractive nicknames growing up. Down on Fraggle Rock, like Gramunda. Down on Fraggle Rock. Okay, uh, let's take another one. When you got a chance, Cody. Thank you. Hey, you're on. Thank you. You're on Collider Live. What do we got? Hey, this is Nathan from Dallas, Texas. Nathan. Hi, Nathan. Nathan. What's up, my man? What do you got for us today? Yeah, I was just wondering if y'all saw the news that uh, The Rock and uh, Gal Gadot's Red Notice was getting uh, moved over to Netflix and cast Ryan Reynolds. Uh, oh, no, yeah, no I did not I saw see that. that yesterday. Um, Big news. And it's going to get a release on Netflix? Is that Yeah, when? this is the most expensive project yeah. that Rock, Netflix is Gal, doing. The Rock, Gal, and Ryan? What a big wow. project for Netflix who's, that is. Who's, doing, who's making it? Who's directing it? Uh, uh, it is uh, uh, Ross and Marshall Thurber. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So to, yeah. To, to what did he do? He did Skyscraper. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And and uh, he did Skyscraper and uh, San Andreas, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's so he, him and Rock have a really great relationship. So the fact that they're having that, um, this is a Netflix movie they're going to try to do. I, I just always am so curious about how Netflix garners success on these movies because they know that they just said the Triple Frontier. What is that was it called? Triple Frontier. Yeah, the one that he Netflix. did. Dodgeball. Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. Wow! Uh, but triple Love that movie. Because Triple Frontier one. bombed, and then they wanted to change up their whole strategy. This doesn't seem like changing a strategy. This seems like going up more, more money. Be Gee. confused. Yeah, I read somewhere that The Rock had a profit point off of the back end. Makes sense. I'm, I'm just he so confused <laughs> with Netflix because, you know, we hear things like that that it bomb, but they don't actually release anything. Right. And then so, well, this week we hear that Stranger Things crushes. Right? They release numbers that just 
barely makes sense. I, I, I just don't. I, until we have complete transparency with Netflix, when they say something does well or bombs or is the best that has ever been or is the worst, I just I just don't know what that means. Right, even. right. Oh, thanks for the call, man. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, we got we got to do a, we'll do one more call, and then we'll call it a day. What we got any guests tomorrow, Riley? Uh, we have Todd Garner on tomorrow. Oh, we got Todd yeah, back that, he was a great. You weren't I here wasn't for here that. Last time there, you guys, he he is great. the funniest yeah. and has he was awesome. Great stories. Stories that. Talk about don't give a fuck. What yeah. is he coming back in for? Something specific? No, he's coming just to hang, he wants to hang with us. Love yeah. that. I'm so happy. Yeah. So uh, you get to talk to him about yeah. just whatever. Whatever the fuck. Yeah. That's what they say. That's his new movie. Whatever the, yeah, what, whatever what, the fuck. Whatever the fuck. Coming out summer 2021. Sorry, you know who's in that? Uh, Louis no, Lumpy. The Tooch. Yeah. And, oh. of course, Danny Tooch. Danny Tooch. Uh, He's the bad guy. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Louis Lumpy, huh? Uh, well, you never seen Louis Lumpy. Louis Lumps. Oh. I call him the Lumps. He was in season two of Sopranos. You don't know LL? You know, you know LL. Yeah. LL Lumps. Remember cool back in the day? Lumps. Yeah, now I know. Tell me about the sandwich shop. Mm, the sandwich shop with Louis Lumpy. Oh, yeah. Mm, L Squared loved the sandwich shop. Hoagies, just doing all Man. the hoagie stuff. Fucking she the, knows. You know, <laughs> she knows. Just with all the Would Louis Lumps. Don't take your lumps and don't take your Louis. Yeah. Fucking A. That's Fucking right. A. Hey, it's not bad. You like salami over there at the sandwich shop? <laughs> a little salami, a little provolone. <laughs> a little provolone, a little, yeah? A little provolone, Cody. some salt and pepper. Hey, you're on Clyde Alive with Louis Lumps. Who you got? Who you got? <laughs> Hey, this is uh, Daniel Wish from Carver, North Carolina. What's up, hey, What do you got for us today? Raise up. Guys, how's everybody doing today? Good. What's Good. up? You got Clint, what's up? What do you got? Awesome. So I'm curious, uh, what does everybody think about the whole Ezra Miller Flash situation? Like, you know, they, DC wants to um, keep Gal Gadot and Jason Momoa as Aquaman and Wonder Woman, but change Superman and Batman. Like, well, what's up with all this? <laughs> that's a that's great question. Yeah, Thank you. Um, I mean, we talked about this kind of briefly. It's just I don't think they really know yet, and I don't think that we really know. Yet. I, I don't think Ezra Miller is going to stay as a Flash. I just don't. I know that he's announced right now, but I I would be surprised if he sticks around. I think they're going to get somebody else. But maybe I'm wrong. DC know. wants to keep Wonder Woman and Aquaman because they made a ton of money. Right. Uh, DC, that's correct, Roxy. DC wants to ditch uh, Cavill because of contract issues and they were talking about so creative or whatever it was and Ben Affleck was in his own place at right, that time. Right. So Flash is the one in the middle. Same with Cyborg, although we're not hearing anything about Ray Fisher at all. At mm. all nothing. They were talking spinoff at one point. That's well, kind of... There was a slated movie in 2020 for right, Cyborg. Right. Ryan Green Wasn't Lantern. it Cyborg and The Flash? No, they were going to be in the movie That together? was the second. In the initial slate, they were in separate movies. Then there was going to be a Flashpoint movie and Cyborg was going to have... Uh, and then there was going to be a merger of a Cyborg Flash buddy cop kind of... Yeah, that's what I heard. But The DC mm, slate is like a bad jazz song. Um, just keeps changing, and you have no idea. What it I doesn't matter if you do if it. you do good job with your movies. So that's we need to. They just need to keep their head down and do a good job with their movies. But I think that they've been doing a good job exactly. for the last. I think that Shazam, over Aquaman, the last, they, Wonder Woman. I think Woman. they've turned it uh, turned it up dramatically. I think that they, they are now in a place to where because I. I don't care if the Joker doesn't follow the comics. I really don't. If I get a good movie, I get a good movie. Um, so that movie I'm looking forward to. I can't wait to see Batman, the Matt Reeves version. I'm looking forward to Shazam too. I, I know you don't feel this way, but I want to see what they do next with Aquaman. So I think they're. I'm in excited a place. about Suicide Squad too. Even and I'm, Birds I'm, of I'm Prey. I'm very curious about that one now because the, more so of Suicide Squad than, than Birds I am. of Prey. Yeah, I want to see a trailer, for, but it's not to say that I don't want to see it. But I think right now DC is is. Doing, I think, uh, very creative and doing a lot of things right. I think that they they right now are in a place to where they don't they're not just trying to say everything's going to be part of the universe. Some of their movies might be part of the universe. Some of them are just going to make standalone stuff. And I think that is the right plan. I think that they. I never got said anything about the movie. I just said the slate. No, is like yeah, because the, they just the, keep the changing. Slate is, changing. The slate's up. a disaster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there is no slate. Well, right now. I think I think this one's going to stick now that Mushy Eddie's on board for the Flash because of it too. <laughs> it just sounds like you call him Mushy Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> Mushy Eddie. <laughs> No, you know, you say, so it was Louis Lumps <laughs> and Mushy Eddie. Now that that sandwich shop was good. Oh, the Mushy good. Lumps, Mushy Eddie, oh. Mushy Lumps. Dude, you get Mushy Lumps oh, number two. Oh, meatballs. Oh, oh, it's good. It's lumps. so good. Yeah, it's all mushy. Just enough. avoid the lettuce. Yes. <laughs> don't put lettuce Just on the mushy lumps. No, Come you on. don't do that. It ruins the mush. It ruins the lump. You don't want crunchy in your mush. No, the mushy lumps. All right, listen. All right, y'all, you mushy well, you, you, Did you have something to say to that mush? Thank you, Cody. That's the show. <laughs> hey, uh, thank you to our guests here. 
Jason Muse for coming in today. Uh, Madison, the method, once again, August 2nd. Make sure you check that out. I'm in it, bitches! That's right, Roxy's in it. Mark Riley, Josh McCuga. Hey, Alex and Cody, for that's the show here today. Make sure you get those tickets for the SchmodownLive.com. July 20th, Mike Kalinowski going to try to take that title, interdict the title away from Rachel Cushing. Can the crush defend it? Find out on July 20th, 8.30 p.m. We'll see you tomorrow. Some good news that that uh, happened already. Yeah, we had some good news that happened already. Mm-hmm. Yeah.